Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Star Wars D&D. We just ran the trailer for the new series coming to Dice and Fire, Awakening. Ooh. Awakening. Oh, I want even spookier when he says it. So, there's going to be yet another D&D campaign going on here soon. And I uh, recently made plans to have the um, Origins of Olympus themed one shot coming soon. So that'll probably be coming relatively soon after the premiere of Awakening. And do we have a date for the premiere of Awakening? Is that coming? Oh, uh, yeah, it was actually at the end of the trailer. Yeah, which yeah. I haven't seen the trailer. So. <laughs> July 14th, which is a Tuesday, and we're going to be doing it at nighttime at a 10 p.m. EST. Um, mostly because it's sort of a spookier thing, so nighttime is better. And also because Jakey's in it, and he's on the other side of the country. So it's yeah, just so going to make it work best for everybody's time. It works out. So apologies to everyone in uh, the EU, in England, and all those many places. It um, might be a little tough on your schedule. But the, uh, of course, videos will always be going over to the Dyson Fire channel the day after the video um, is streamed live here. So yes. if you miss so it, anytime... you'll still be available to do that. And if you're just new, and if you're new, and decide to watch it later on, like give it a few weeks after, you could always catch up on the uh, on the Dyson Fire channel later on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Xylo just said. <laughs> <laughs> He's repeating it, repeating it. So hopefully everyone's got their drinks, they snacks, they popcorn, because uh, finally it appears in Star Wars D and D we are reaching the destination of our first mission. Well, you guys did run into quite a few hiccups. I suppose so. Only a couple. Just some yeah. little tiny hiccups. Little Goddamn place. space whales! <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Demonetized. We are going to uh, approach the game. So, Mario, take it away. Well, first, I thought before we start, Ooh. I'd do something that we've been meaning to do the last session or two. I deleted your old tokens on this map. And I'm Ooh. going to be placing on your new tokens. Oh, Mr. Lopod. Fancy. Shining, shimmering, splendid. We were, uh, we were very, very fortunate that uh, to have an artist, I don't know whose name it Snowy is. Snowy Raven. Like yep, Snowy Raven, to, uh, yep. to uh, make art for uh, all of our characters. Um, She's on in the Xylophony Fire. Discord. Feel free to say how awesome all the art is. You've probably also yep. seen it in the Dyson Fire thumbnails. Yep. And yeah. They look really good. It's nice. But yes. I guess uh, anything else, Mario, before we get started? Um, no. Other than just check out just check out everything out in the Dyson Fire when you get a chance. So. Let's get to it. Yeah, let's get to it. So. We ended our ev last adventure. Leaving behind your new friend, Ricaro. Well, most of your guys' new friends. Except for Sylvan. I don't know, I, I can't remember if you made amends with him at the last minute. No, no we didn't. Okay. <laughs> Big no. Me and Ricaro are not cool right now. <laughs> Damn, Ricaro. Arch nemesis. Mm-hmm. But, as you guys, uh... As you guys have left the planet and started heading towards your final destination and seeing a literal planet leave lead itself out of it out of the system you uh you eventually find that you're within sight of Moncala finally a beautiful blue planet in a sea of galaxies or universes or whatever and as you guys enter you guys see the planet is surrounded by a do by dozens of Trade Federation ships. Oh, look at all those wonderful ships! Is that the um, is that a mm. is that your defense system or something like that? Did no one tell him about the whole situation going on right now? We we're, oh, we're not God. very good at telling him things. But f um, apparently not. So oh right, the war! I forgot. Oh oh, so these this is not good, is what no. you're saying? No, not at all. Didn't take it take us like a whole day to you know defeat that one ship. Right, quite a while. How so, many uh, in front of us? So. Sorry, I'm I'm all caught up now. I'm sorry. Good. Yes. Yeah, so the the Trade Federation does not like us. They have bounty on her head. We have on all your heads. Yeah, I suppose we have all, you know, collected bounties by now. But mostly her head. 
may have taken a droid from them. Wait, oh, why, do, why is you... her head worth more than mine? Um, well, because I'm a princess, I'm royalty. In case you oh, forgot. Oh right, right. I guess yes, you did mention that part too. I'm, the I, Jedi I, I, Council I... gave us the original mission of bringing her to this planet. This planet is also surrounded by people who are putting out a bounty on her. So okay, there's so... little complication. That's a rough. Little... Being a princess. So I do suppose the task at hand here is somehow landing on this planet without them seeing us. I suppose that would be I pretty suppose. important. It will also be kind of hard. Um, from what we can see, Mario, is the whole planet surrounded, or is there any sort of like hole in their defenses kind of thing where we could roll sneak? Me a, roll me a spot and astro navigation. Oh, could I use farsight too? Would that be a sure? Would that be a, sh a shout? Hold yeah, on, be a show. I need to open ah. my character sheet. Alright, um, I guess I'll... Far seeing, uh, rather. Oh! Oh, that 20, the nice. Force. Really good roll, god. Jack. Good way to start the and day. Then, and then roll me a Astrogate to match that. Astrogate, is that just in the regular skills? Yeah. No, oh, there it is. Yep. It is navigating. That's the second one. Still good? Really good, Decent so roll, way better than my navigation Nev, rolls. Overlooking, overlooking it, you notice that they have they have a tight formation over the planet, as if they're setting up a blockade, seeming that they're trying to cut off anyone coming to the Moncalo's aid. Right now, you see that the uh, that the ships are large, and by the descriptions of the what the others have told you of the last ship. You can see that trying to get between the ships right now would be almost a suicide run. Okay, what do we do here? We're going to need to trick them into letting us through. Hmm. So I do have plan. Do you want to pretend to be them? Or what's your plan? I will pretend to be Farmer on his way back to home. And I would be put up the, you know... Hello communication, I sit there with Garbanzo and I pretend to be farmer that's flying home to uh, deliver blue milk. Okay, um, let, let me ask, uh, I mean, I suppose Walker, you would maybe know this, or maybe even Callie yourself. Uh, do we have any sort of secret compartments on the ship or anything where, you know, maybe you carry less than favorable cargo or something. Some place we could hide Kali should they decide to board our ship. Mm. That's not a bad idea. I assume we would have it on the ship. Such as this taken from people doing illegal yeah, things. The cargo well, area, funny enough, you guys have some empty crates from all the meat Gary mm. has to eat a day. Well, so I have to go on Gary's So if meat we tonight? cover Kali in meat, exotic meats, <laughs> they'll I never know. know. Is that the best idea? I mean, if they're crates... What they're if they have like sensors? Cargo. They're it's going to see like organic cargo. matter. They, 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 they might doesn't search Gary, the cargo. Doesn't Gary have, like, a blanket underneath or on top of her? I could hide just under the blanket on top of Gary. Possibly, but what if they check the blanket? Yeah. <laughs> True. What if they check the cargo? <laughs> we well, to... that's why we cover you in exotic meats. They open up the crate, the... just Is see some meats... Egg? Ventilation shaft or something like that, like some place she could potentially or hide. Or wouldn't check. You got. We could use me as bait. You guys could say that you're delivering the princess for the bounty reward. But then we'd have and to go right to the person collecting you, and I feel like it would be well defended. I guess. And it wouldn't be a very good idea. <laughs> we disguise one of you as me. <laughs> I volunteer local. I, I volunteer Zyla's character. <laughs> I feel like and we then... need to do whatever we can to rendezvous with our contacts here before you know, doing anything crazy. Oh. oh, do I have any contact with the person on this planet, or did I just get it straight from the Jedi Order? You got the mission straight from the Jedi Order. Whether or not you have a communication... I'm sure some a... sort of contact we have to... I feel like I would have to, to if yeah. I'm delivering her. Because otherwise this we have no, no way to deliver it, yeah. Yeah, you do have a... You do have a contact on the planet if you want to try to contacting it. Can I make it? Can I make it like a 
closed thing between just me and them so no one can hack it. You mean an you know? encrypted call? Yeah. Uh, sure. You can try that. Just throw me a computer use to try to encrypt it. Because, you know, up. we got a bunch of ships around. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable just, like, throwing that thing out. All right. All right. A 19. So you, you encrypt a call and try to send it out. But there's an issue. Well, of course there is. The Trade Federation seems to be jamming signals coming at, to and from the planet. Oh, my God. Oh, so they're not taking anything? So if anybody... What is it? What is it? Just shoot on sight no matter who comes here? You don't know. All you know is they had to, They seem to have the planet barricaded. And and when Jark tried to send a signal to the planet, it seems like some kind of jamming signal seemed to have blocked it. Well, if we fly in close and they hail us, they have to turn off the jamming. It would mm -hmm. be probably more risky to send a message while they're talking to us, but... Well, the other option is they don't even try to hail us and they just shoot us on sight. That's also a possibility. That would be extremely mm. illegal. I suppose. You might want to question the legality of what they're doing right now. My character stands with that statement. <laughs> <laughs> that would be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pickle. Quite the pickle indeed. Are these like the, these are like the really big trade federation ships that we ran into the first time, right? Yeah. And you... smaller ones. Yes. Uh, you see droid the droid star the droid starfighters circling them in a, like mm -hmm. a patrol kind of stance. Ugh, annoying. I don't I think we are going to be able to get through without them noticing. Mm -hmm. Question: Does this ship have underwater capabilities? Ooh. Yes. We got lucky know. with it. It would be very yeah. important to know that approaching this planet. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. Luckily for you, a lot of ships that were... A lot of uh, spaceships that are designed for this, for, you know, long travel, is also equipped with, uh, with underwater travel. Yeah, I assume if they can survive space, they can survive underwater. Yeah. True. I'm sure there's some little things you gotta do, but if we got it, we got it. Sweet. That's very good to know. Hmm. Are their ships waterproof, from what we know? I don't imagine the giant starships will be approaching the surface of the planet. Hmm. Not but true. yeah, you you would get no dark that the, the droid ship has too many holes, and even a uh, repulsor shield wouldn't last forever under water pressure. So... We could we could dive bomb the planet, go underwater, and that would be like our best shot, I think. If things go wrong, that might be best. I mean, yeah. It's just the mm. fighters were in a cargo ship; they would probably outpace us. Uh, probably, but we do have guns on this ship. We do have guns. Don't, as a reminder to you guys, the Queen of Naboo did upgrade your guys' guns. Yes, that is also true. True. So. Plan A, we trick them. Plan B, we shoot them. Plan C, we go swimming. I want to go swimming. Let's... Let's we probably keep... shoot them on the way to go swim. Why? That's just going to bring attention to us. Because, us. yeah, they will probably shoot first. I mean, if they shoot first, I guess, but... I should also probably bring up this consideration. Uh, Mario, we are close enough to see them. Are we also close enough for them to see us? Like, True. is it likely we've already been spotted? You... Very likely that you guys have been noticed by some kind of sensor. If they've acted upon it yet, you don't know. Like, they might have picked us up on our on their radars or something already. Okay, well, yeah, because... ch chances are we don't have long. If they haven't detected us yet, they will soon, so we do need to make a decision here, I'd say. All right. We're going we're going to do this democratically. Pl everyone for plan A, which was trick them, say I. I will be squid farmer. I I like tricking them. Plan B, which is what shoot them. I don't think anyone wants to do that, but say I. And C, dive bombing into the water. Say I. Ko is just right next to you. He raises his hand. Actually, your all your droids raise their hand because they got to listen to you. 
I like the so they just raise their hand on every vote? <laughs> <laughs> that would, yeah, that'd be kind of funny. I like the enthusiasm. All right. I guess plan A it is. Anyone have any other ideas on how we can uh, persuade them to let us pass? Or we go, or should we get Garbanzo up here? Garbanzo. We could drive. That's pretty great. I, I suppose we go with the Garbanzo idea. I can't come up with anything better at the moment. Perfect. Yeah. What, what exactly is the Garbanzo idea? Well, you see, I'm going to uh, you can get Garbanzo up there in, in the uh, you know cockpit with me, and I'm going to hail their communications, and I'm going to be all like, hey, I'm just coming back to my planet with this uh, delivery here, back to my home. That's all this is. All right. All right. <laughs> you want to try hailing them then? I suppose that's the plan. Yeah, I probably uh, put on something that's less Jedi and uh, more just generic. Clothing. I can pull give on. you a dress. I don't, I don't put think on a dress. I, uh, you know, pull garbons up and get a jug of blue milk. Can we have a fashion show? Like one of those little, like, cutscene fashion shows where he just tries on the <laughs> it's like a size 7 in dress. Montage. <laughs> I want him in a dress. <laughs> Too bad. And then, yeah. Roll a, roll a persuasion. Her? Yes. To put you in a dress. Oh! Yes! I don't- I feel like- I don't know if Zyla needs to be persuaded. I think he's down. <laughs> no, he just said he doesn't want to go in a dress. <laughs> Seth does not want to go in dress. Doesn't mean I don't want Seth in a dress, but... <laughs> so fan art, do what you gotta do, but... Uh, let me see. I saw that dark quid eat popcorn like a champ. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'd roll for that. <laughs> uh, let me see, uh... Oh, they actually don't have, like, a proper persuasion yeah, thing in here. that's weird. Uh, let me see... Who's the diplomacy? That's pretty much what that is. Yeah, roll diplomacy, okay. I guess. Not now, Zylo, bad. I need you to roll me something very good. Alright. I need you to roll me... I don't want to do it. Wiz wisdom. Oh boy, <laughs> guys, we are just like a wisdom doomed. checker. I save because I think it would be a save, wouldn't it? Oh, you know what? Roll me intelligence to see if you're smart enough to realize. Oh, wisdom it is. Wonder... <laughs> <laughs> hey. oh. Intelligence it is. <laughs> That's not fair. Ah, Seth smart. Wow. Seth super you smart. You should have gone with it. Wisdom first. <laughs> you did. Well, I rolled the will saving throw first, so. You want to throw something no. out. Wisdom it is. <laughs> no, that's what Will Saving throws is based off of. Great. So, anyway, as you... Uh, yeah, I'd probably say to um, Walker something that's like, wait. You should probably mask the identity of this ship as well. How do you want me to do that? My buttons? I don't know. They might still know of this ship. So, so whatever the... Uh, you know, encryption code of the ship's data source is change it. I suppose it's a little late, a late to go outside and paint it. <laughs> yeah, that is a little bad. Honestly, I'm surprised I'm you guys surprised haven't done that already. That, yeah. I mean, we never given that option, really. Anyway, rushed out of every spaceport we go to. True. That's true. Anyway, so I guess I'll try that idea if I could. Kelly? Is it even possible, Mario? Hi. Uh, it, yeah, that's entirely possible. You, so you're good enough with the computer skills to be able to do that easily. Yeah, we're going to change our encoding. Anyway, yeah, uh... Because I assume there's like some sort of digital identification on these. Probably. Yeah, they ha the ship has an IP address. <laughs> yeah, something like that, really. You're yeah. so good at it, Walker. You apparently don't even have to roll for it. You just do it. It is oh, a low... It is, it is like basic computer skills to do so. Anyway, um... Callie? I'm just too good at you can successfully convince Cephalopod to try on outfits in your for, she, to, to try on your outfits that you give him. Don't hey, think that's how the game so works, but I put him in a pretty purple dress. I rip Wouldn't it the second I put it over my leg. <laughs> when you have to do a will saving throw or something. I did, and I cleared it by a long shot. No. I was Let me doing put intelligence. You in a dress. <laughs> 
don't think you should force character actions by abandoning everything the game is based on, you know? It's also true. Fine, fine, fine. You don't put on a dress, you put on a farmer, what looks to be a basic farmer's outfit. Because Do I have a hat? Uh, roll me to see if you guys find a hat, actually. Roll me a spot. Can we get, like, a piece of straw or something <laughs> that he can put in his mouth? Piece of straw? Yeah! Do I find the hat, Mario? You find a straw hat. Yes! <laughs> you have an options with hats, it looks like. You, you found a couple hats. Seems. You also found You also found a pirate hat. Mm, probably not the best to approach a planet in a stolen ship wearing a pirate hat. Probably. I'm gonna go with the straw hat. Yep. Alright. I'm guessing if Kayla wants to do her thing, she could uh, take... A piece of uh, straw from one of the, uh, what was it, from one of the hay beds from uh, the animals? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. certainly have it. That's but the question is, <laughs> which animal is she taking it from is the question. Um, the Med new one I just got, the duck horse thing. <laughs> Kelly goes, here, put this in your mouth. <laughs> which animal is it from? The one that the queen gave me, I don't know what it was called. The alligator duck. The alligator I don't think duck. An alligator duck, but you know. <laughs> I thought it was like a horse duck. It was like a duck looking thing. I like alligator duck personally. I named it Ducky. I like alligator duck too. Yep. I don't remember. So yeah, we I bring didn't... that up. I address the part. I'm ready to go. Am I hiding still or what's happening? It's probably a good idea, but you if this all goes wrong, you probably have time to hide. You're still okay. inside the ship, just, you know, don't be in the cockpit. Alright. I will uh, leave the cockpit and go cuddle with Gary. We do the thing. <laughs> Alright. You hail the ship. And about a few, about a minute passes as you guys are pinging them, and a droid picks up, saying, Who is this? Identify yourself. Hello, it is I. Uh, Jeff Lopod. <laughs> I am here to um, return to my home with my family. Jeff Lopod. Yes. I turn to Walker and I'm like, there's no way they're going to buy this. Planet is under barricade. Leave uh, the system. I can see that, but you, I have little baby squidlings at home. They need this blue milk. You have a. Please tell me if you have a jug of the I blue did. milk. That or was not. a specification of something I grabbed. Yeah, he got garbanzo and blue milk. Please, <clears throat> all right. Um, to... Why is this happening? I pull on uh, garbanzo's reins a little bit. Give my best sad <laughs> Seth impression. Negative, negative. Under orders, no one leave or go comes to the planet. Negative, negative. And then, then the uh, the signal changes to one of the. Uh, uh, new gunray people? I can't remember what they're called. Nodians? Nudians? Something. Uh, yeah, the Nudians. They're nude. Let's do it. <laughs> anyway. Nudian. One of them pops up on screen and goes, Who is this? Who are you? Hello, this is Jeff. I would like to return to my home. Can't, your people did not tell us any of your kind was off planet. Of course some of the people were off planet. We they cannot me get everything, had... all of the comforts we need to survive on the planet, so... I was sent. We were not told of anything. I'm sorry, but we would have told you if we could. It's just me and my family, we are but lowly farmers. We did not think to bother you. Mm. Come back next week, this will probably be over by then. Next week, but my family needs me now. I whispered to Seth, I'm just like, tell them it's a large planet. They couldn't lay a, they couldn't absolutely account for everybody. It's a large enough. planet. You couldn't possibly account for everyone. And as that, he looks at you and says, we have droids everywhere. Eyes everywhere. Why don't you tell me your name again? My name is Jeff Lopod. Droids, search the, uh, search our allies' databanks for that name. Don't worry. <clears throat> Lopod is a pretty common name on one cow. Okay, a quick hack to put it in. If it's possible. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. That's good. 
That would be some <laughs> that would be some computer use right there. Damn you're gonna, have to, That's his job, you're gonna so. have to beat me. You have to beat at 17. Ooh, okay. Just man. Easy pass. <laughs> you were so, saying? Do you what information do you put in? I need to put his name in there. Like I need to put Jeff Lopat. Okay, and Wait, what I do you put? Wait, I need to see how they. I need to see how they structure the naming of each. <laughs> Copy and paste and someone them. else and just <laughs> Jeff Lopod. Yeah, it finds a random farmer and changes yep. his name to Jeff Lopod. Is that what you do? You change a random farmer over there? Yes. It works the same. <laughs> or needs to hold on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm oh, gonna boy. need you to roll me a gamble. Ooh. Oh, I'm. Oh, I like no. It. Why? Yeah, we never <laughs> rolled a gamble before. This can't end well. oh. Yeah, I know. This is the first time we're so, doing it, I think. Yeah, so. You, uh. So, you. you bring, so, the droid gives, gives him a data pad and he says, Jeff Lopard, right? It says here that you died last month go in a uh, trench warfare. Excuse me, trench warfare? Yes, sea trenches. <laughs> I've been gone since a month and a half ago. The information must not be correct. Really? Once again, yeah, it is a big planet, a lot of people to keep track of. He, po he pulls the data pad to show you on a screen, showing you a confirmed dead body. Yeah, you see, that is not even me. I am purple. You have about five minutes to get out of this system before we open fire. Look, I, I don't want to, you know, By say way, you're not doing your job right, but if I cannot return home, I don't know what I'll do. I suppose I could contact the Republic to help, but who knows if they will be any more, you know, forthcoming. Is that a, uh... <laughs> I don't know if you want me to make a threat or a um, diplomacy role, but it's one of those. Seems like more of a threat than anything. All right. Like a hit, like a small threat. Alright, I'll drop in an intimidate. Let's see, I think I have the same role on both anyway. Oh, wait, no, I have a little bit on intimidate. Sweet. Bang. Nice, nice. Whoa. That's a really good roll. Yeah, yeah, nice 18 to clean this moment up. He just looks at you and says, Getting the Republic involved, huh? We can't have that. Droids, aim aim the blasters. Aim the oh, do we hear this? Oh yeah, he's telling you right in front of you. Aim, right. aim the cannons. Dive bomb, let's go. Uh, Why did we agree to let Seth negotiate or do whatever That's true. I didn't want to. Do. I never, don't know why you did. I was expecting <laughs> someone to stand up against this plan. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I did pretty well, all absolutely. things being said. But... Because Teflopod <laughs> is not convincing, but Xylo is convincing. <laughs> Fair. <True>. Fair. Um, <laughs> you gotta remember, this is Cephalopod saying I these plans. No. <laughs> hey, where's Cap? I'm going right to now. say the plan hiding? did not work. How is your I'm contacting? No, the... I'm chilling with Gary. Oh, mm -hmm. you're in the cargo bay. Uh-oh. <laughs> It's all right. I will pilot. You get the message to our contact. Let's go. Um, You're letting it. Do not let it. I'm piloting. No, I, you need I, to I, get the message to our contact. I don't know how to use the computer. I don't know how to fly the ship either. Don't you have a droid? That I you? am a Jedi Knight yes, of the I Jedi Order. I know how you to pilot the ship. You guys very easily I just step into the pilot's Kelly chair. to come up. I'm just saying. <laughs> Kelly, Seth is trying to fly the ship. Oh you no! Here I, I push the levers forward to start speeding. <laughs> yeah. I push the stick down, we dive in. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, by the time Callie gets here, she can handle the landing bit. I would like to um, make an action to get the ship oh, moving, boy. though. Here we go. So, I don't know if you want me to do any piloting rolls for that or anything, but. Uh, let's do a starting piloting roll and then Callie will take over. Fantastic. All right. Let's see. Roll a one. Yeah. Roll a one. Rolls a Roll one. All right. Pilot, pilot, pilot. Never rolled pilot before. Let's do it. I have a plus three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you, All set, right. you guys set off in a proper position, and you try aiming for what looks like to be the best area to dive bomb. Mm -hmm. 
just making a gap between as many ships as possible. And I right. to the droid. Man, I the would... guns! I also just want to say, Sylphen's standing there, but he is on full alert right now. I'm just going to say that. Should we get Sylphen on one of the guns? Uh, I don't... Do you know how to man a gun, Sylvan? Do you want I, to man a gun? I was pretty good with the gun, so, uh, I mean, if, if, if someone... We could, avoid, <laughs> we could avoid shooting anybody. I'd rather much prefer that. We could just Plus, have uh, a piloting. Callie, get I on could the... pilot. Oh, Callie, you need a pilot. <laughs> Fine. Well, also, Callie, you also have frontal, front weapons anyway, so... Oh, so you okay. technically sure. do have guns. All right. All right, so... <laughs> this is great in this I'll moment, like... You all see Seth blunder towards the controls, like as if he's about to completely mess everything up, and he just gets in the zone and he just starts hitting all the right <laughs> levers and stuff, and is like, "I told you, I've done this before." It's as I if the force was at full alert. He's it's probably like, if... oh, "Go ahead." I was gonna say it's as if the force was te was took a moment control to try to stop the most biggest blunder in the galaxy. <laughs> anyway, I'd say Sylvan is standing there like. Like mouth open, like what I think is we going all on right now? <laughs> <laughs> if this were a movie, the camera would pan, and everybody else in the con cockpit has like jaws dropped. Like, what is Seth doing? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so does Callie get up to the cockpit and all that? Yeah, I'll take over. And then we'll just take over weapon station. All right. Like, yeah. Callie, roll me a. Uh... Please roll me a pilot. Watch me fail it. <laughs> So right, Kel, you're a much better pilot than I am. I'll handle the guns. I, it's gonna be a hard roll to pass to get through them all. You're just gonna have to, uh, I can It'd be more interesting if I don't tell you what it is. Same pilot gang? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Um, before we get to Cali stuff, is there anything else anyone's setting up? You, I'm assuming you, Dark, uh, told all your joys to get to positions? Yep. Are we doing anything with trying to uh, find a contact while the um, comms are still enabled? Do you want to check the comms real quick? Because you still have it open to that call with that guy. Yeah, so like, there's clearly no jamming guess... going on right now if we want to try to get something through. Yeah, so I guess I'll look then. Since I'm there. I'm would I have contact with like my parents or anything? Or I guess they would probably be arrested right now. Yeah, it might not be the best. I'm sure the... um. Order told us to go meet someone. Who would that have been? You guys were supposed to, if the plan was supposed to go smoothly, you were supposed to land in the planet, go to a certain spaceport, uh, more like a seaport actually, and uh, meet a certain person there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess it's that certain me. person is what we were trying to contact. Mm hmm. Wouldn't Silo know though? Yeah. As I said earlier, uh, Sylvan is on full alert. He's actually looking out the front window of the con uh, cockpit, waiting to see if any of these ships take a shot at us. Okay. All you right. Have something special, don't you? <laughs> I'm just saying. If they shoot right. us, we should try spinning. Spinning works. <laughs> Uh, yeah. To give you guys a rundown of what everything's happening, two of uh, Dark's droids. One is at the shield state, at the shield, at the shield Good generator. Line, he's a uh, over. He's uh, he's boosting up the shields right now. He's taking away power from non-vital uh, functions right now, such as the cryo chamber, some of the lights, kind of deal, and giving more juice to the shield generator. Yeah, shunting the shields, I believe it is. Mhm. Mm the other one is actually over at your ship drive. He's trying to see if he can pump out more of your, uh, if he can pump out more of the, uh, Get the engines more running. effort out. Yeah, yeah, pump out more effort from the engines. I was trying to find the word effort, but I couldn't find <laughs> it for a second. Just stumbling over your words. Mm -hmm. And the other out. two, the uh, guard droids, are trying to man different types of guns. They're mainly, the, they're not the main gun as you guys can set them up for that. They're mainly like the side ones, you know, ones that are supposed to be meant for uh, asteroid clearing and all that when traveling through. But they're trying to use it to try to disable any fighters passing by. Yep. And I'm guessing uh, Sylvan is at the main gun as you guys set him up? Um, no, I just oh, said where I was. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear so you. So that'll be in the case I'd probably run over to the main gun. 
Yeah, I guess. I said, so. I, I, I'm just standing looking to see if they shoot at us. All right. And before you guys take off, the second Kelly doesn't enter. The the uh, Noidian just immediately says, "There she is! Open fire! Open fire! She can't oh, be allowed no. to return." Oh no! They figured out we have the the host the known individual as Kelly Mary. How did, did they you say figure that this out? out? <laughs> yeah. I mean, literally, like as things are going wrong. Kelly, get to the ship! <laughs> You guys have. We all just shouted her name out. That's true, I did it earlier. Yep. Yeah. Every time you've run into them, you've just said her name Mm -hmm. or have identified her. I know, like, Xylo had this plan in his head, like, say something about the. At least the other ship will get through, but nah. Seth wouldn't. It's fine. Just try to trick him. (laughs) No need to trick him. We'll just just beat them easily. Anyway, so as you guys, uh. As you guys dive bomb, the the Trade Federation tries to open fire on you. Alrighty. Ooh. Okay, are the shots coming towards us? Do they look like they're going to hit us? Yes, and it is thanks to Callie's expert piloting that you guys are able to avoid some pretty nasty blaster bolts. Wow. Okay, I guess I'll reveal it now. I was ready on guard to use move object to move the entire ship if we were about to get hit Ooh. by shots. <laughs> super, nice. Super Jedi. What? That is something you can honestly do with with your battle meditation, actually. It is actually stated in the Star Wars camp. I don't think we Star have Wars access blow. to battle meditation yet, though. No. Oh, okay. But yeah, but battle that meditation. That is why I said I'm, I am like, I am like on on a, on full alert, like watching the shots coming at us, seeing if they're gonna. And you said we have shields too, right? Because yes, yeah, yeah. So if we do get hit, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to save that action for if things get dire. Oh, I All should right. have fixed my shield on the flight over. Eh, we didn't have a lot of time. Yeah. yeah, you didn't. Anyway, so expert piloting. Uh, Zylo, can you roll me some? Let me see. Yeah, roll me a spot, because this is going to be your your reaction to how you're dealing, how good you're shooting the enemy ships. Eleven. You hit a few, but a lot of them are, you're not used to this kind of weapon before. Mm -hmm. So a lot of your shots are missing, unfortunately, because you're not used to it. I want to let the force take over and guide my actions next time. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I'll try to figure out what that means as we continue. All right. Let's see, that would be uh, I believe that would be your battle mind taking over, actually. C force, maybe. I don't know. Either one. I'll let you choose. Yeah, because battle. I mean, I'd love to do battle. Uh, because oh, wait, that no, is battle mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you meant the uh, something else. Battle meditation thing that yeah. he mentioned. Is- uh, oh, yeah. They renamed it in here as battle influence. Okay. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Yeah. And that's <laughs> literally affecting everyone around you. I'd love so. to use my battle mind roll for that next time. All right. Anyway, so as you guys are doing so, uh, Dark, you're trying to communicate with the your t- contact on the planet, right? Yeah. Since so you it, seem to be at the moment. Yeah. So you try to communicate with the planet. You use your encryption key that you rolled earlier, and it's static at first. But as you hear a voice going, "Hello, uh, hello," hi, who yes. is this? This is Walker Wynn. Walker Owen, is that the pilot that's supposed to be bringing the princess? Yes. I'm here with Cephalopod. And Sylvan, I'm here too. And I'm here, the princess. I think we figured... Okay. I think you're distracted right now, Kayla, to be uh, saying anything. Yeah, I'm probably a little distracted as well. Uh, and he says... I want to say hello. <laughs> Do you stop piloting in a dire situation no. to say hello? No. <laughs> I kind of want you to roll intelligence to see if you do or not. I'm pretty sure if I was... I mean, you don't have to stop piloting a ship to say to hear and say something, do you? <laughs> Mark's trying, to... Mark's trying to TPK. But I guess yeah, she would be focused. <laughs> well, I rolled a bad intelligence, so I can do whatever you want, but... It's nine. I'm pretty sure my character in this situation... I, just wanna, I, I feel like you would have to do, like, a Seth bad intelligence roll to actually, like, take your hands off the controls yeah. to say hello. 
I don't know if that's bad. You enough. you look that was more that was more me complaining than my character. <laughs> God damn. You look away for a oh, hot no. second to say, Hello, it's me, Kelly, and then you look back and you immediately lurch the ship down to avoid a ship a droid ship that you had not seen for a split second. Nice. Ah, uh, whiplash. <laughs> Just like me Shake. driving a car in real life. Oh jeez. Oh. <laughs> Never getting in a car with you. <laughs> uh, I'm not that anyway. bad of a driver. I'm a pretty good driver, but I've done that before. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. everyone has to some extent. Yeah. Yeah. We've driven in New York, Mev. It's it's. You know. It's a video game. It's New Grand York Theft driving's Auto. easy. Don't, don't you can't even know. say that. We were stuck in Manhattan for four. I'm doing it right now. Five hours. Just sit there. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. All you have to do is sit in one place forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. God forbid you try to switch a lane. Oh, don't even get us started about switching lanes. Don't get hit by those yellow cabs. <laughs> oh, God, yellow cabs are the worst. Anyway, back to D and D. <laughs> um. um. Anyway, back to the conversation we're having with my, uh, contact. Yes, and he says, You have arrived later than I thought you would. A lot of things have happened. I can see that. The plan is still a go. That we are still holding the hangar, the, uh, the ship port, it, in the, uh, northern quarter of the planet. Though we can- I cannot guarantee we will hold it forever. It will be the only safe spot you can land your ship. Okay, can I get cords to it? Yes, he sent you coordinates. Okay. All right, we got At that point, guy. too, because he was listening, he turns to Walker and be like, Wait, he said the plan is still a go? That There was a plan? I guess. <laughs> I was always supposed to deliver Callie back here. It's a very simple plan, but it's very important, the location right now. Okay. Yeah. Now I have the cords. Can I go tell them Callie? To yeah, I'll give it to Callie. Uh, yeah, you can probably f pass it forward to her computer. Yeah, alright, I'll do that. Alright, you do so. And, Kelly, you see a, you see a destination ahead of you now. Okay. So, it's like a, so you have a, so you have your frontal viewing, right? The glass? But, as you do so, there's a green dot that appears. That co that indicates where you, on the planet the coordinates are leading you to. Oh, cool. All right. So as you do so, uh, this is going to be an intense dogfight. So, Zylo, Kayla, I need you both to roll me a pilot and a battle mind if you want to use that, Zylo. All right, battle mind. Yeah. Pew! That's a good one. You Bam. let the force <laughs> take over, and using the force and it's a and its vast intelligence of the of the connected minds you actually start pinpointing the ships right now and you're actually blasting droid fighters one right after the other all right the other ships you try to sh fire at some of the larger ships but unfortunately it seems like the their shields are a little too strong for your ship at the moment uh as long as we're keeping them busy and frantic mm -hmm. And as for Kelly, ooh, that's even a better one. You're able to d bob and weave past the barricades, and it seems like you're making it through, but there seems to be an issue. It seems like that the Trade Federation ship of, ahead of you is about, is trying to intercept you. Mm. But Shoot it. what is your plan? I was gonna ask. Does anyone else have any input? Well, we, did my wait, whole stream Do we that? have... Technical difficulties! Oh. <laughs> we're, we're back. We're fine. I don't know wait, why. I just did how, did they hear us still? I might have no idea. But either way, it's good now. Stream okay. On my side. Oh, and yeah. it went down. Hello? <laughs> okay. So, anyway. Um, why did that happen? So the ship is trying to lurch in front of you. It's basically trying to stop you by going right in front of you. Could we... Wait, you said the droids are diverting power to, um... To, like, the shield and, like, the engines, right? Yeah, they're trying to... They're trying to get more out of them. I gotta help them. I gotta put more power into those engines. Alright. 
if you go back there, go roll me a repair and computer use, both. Because it's a little uh, bit of both to get the, to get what you want. Yeah, okay. Uh, doesn't matter which one first. He was done. Uh, no, the, 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 power from, like, less important ship functions right now. Yeah, so lights. Quick, get uh, it away from the oxygen. Put it in the engines. <laughs> I think that's what we yeah. want to do. Oh, but come on! I doubt he would have diverted them from engines, but... So Quick, you divert do your the power from shields. And you do your best, and you get a little bit more of an oomph out of the engines. Shields you can't do much more with, without overloading them. Um, but you do get a little more oomph out of the uh, out of the engines. Yeah, I'm see. I'm trying to like zoom a little past the in, the, you know, the freight ship or whatever it is. Right. Uh, yeah, but it's not enough as you guys are trying to zoom past it, but. Something does happen, though. Okay. A fleet of Mon Calamari ships seem to <gasps> emerge from the planet, from the sea below, and start firing upon that Trade Federation ship. Oh, man. The ships are very aquatic-looking. It seems like they're perfectly made for both air tra for air travel and sea travel. As they oh. try to... As they fire upon the Trade Federation ship, they fire upon it, and eventually one stray shot eventually reaches the the ship's engines, marooning it, giving you guys ample enough time to get past it. Kayla, can you roll me a pilot just to make it past it without escape, without any trouble? Yes. All right. The Squid Squad is coming. The Squid Squad is coming. What? Nice. <laughs> squid Squad. <laughs> Consistency, baby. Nice. You were able to easily evade the now still ship. The unfortunately, as you guys are trying to leave, you do see two Mon Calamari ships go down by some droid starfighters that seem to have mm. diverted attention away from you and onto them. But the rest of them do make it back into the water before anything else. Nice. All right. So, with that being said. You guys make it into the sea. The droids, despite being only machines, seem to re seem to be relieved as they relax their functions, so to say. By the way, Cole's just been standing there. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I assume that's what he does most of the time. Yeah. yeah. By the way, you guys never checked on Terry, what he was doing. Trust Terry's doing his you job. Guys didn't, you guys didn't even, didn't even tell Terry, actually. Now that I think about it. I mean, we're not going to micromanage every single action of all the NPCs. We could have used Terry! For what? He was, <laughs> wasn't he part of the Trade Federation thing? Um, maybe. But I know we tried something like that we last time. and it went, Yeah, we did that before and it went horribly wrong. So yeah. when did, Wait, when did we do that? When I we feel got like we already did that before. Tried to use Terry for something, but you guys tried to use Terry when you guys are already messed up in a in a persuasion with the with one of the ships that captured you. Yeah, so Terry is probably not the best plan there. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, anything could have worked. Yeah. Like literally, it came down to that gamble roll. It yeah, because yeah. all my rolls were great. All your other rolls were great. Just the gamble. Yeah, that was literally gambling. You literally said any farmer. So I, li you literally gambled that. Yeah. All right. So you guys, uh, so you guys make it into the sea, and the uh, one of the uh, sh pilots are actually hailing you right now. Towards right. the ship. I guess we go towards them. Do we know that they're trustworthy? Well, they, they did just save, save us. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, so, just to clarify, Jeff Lopod is deceased. Yes. Noted. Rest in peace, Jeff Lopod, 2020 to 2020. F in chat, Jeff Lopod. <laughs> yeah, chat, let's get an F for Jeff Lopod, please. <laughs> They've been on it. <laughs> I need more F. Let it be known, chat, I feel nothing for Jeff Lopod. Wow. Damn it, sir. Wow. <laughs> That's a Manka S if I've ever seen one. Oh, anyway. I just want to get tap mad. 
Anyway, so as you guys, uh, as you guys get to the, towards the uh, planet originally, you guys are hailed by one of the ships. Do you guys enter it? Yeah. 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 All right. So, as you guys uh, get onto the, as you guys answer, a pilot, a uh, one of your people, uh, Kayla, answers. And he is in a full, like, uh, space outfit. I can't really describe it since I've never actually seen a Mon Cala, you know, pilot, you know, in a fighter and all that. Do I know this person, or do I just, uh, they just are here? They look common right now because they're because of the outfit. If you were to take off the helmet, it's possible. But I don't think you would want to take off a helmet in the middle of, like, using a spacecraft. Fair enough. Yeah. And he basically hails. It's good to see you guys finally arrived. Yes. Took you guys long enough. Good to be here. Yes, it's good to see you too. I have no idea who you are. Um, we had a lot of complications getting here, but we're here finally. As you can imagine, the Trade Federation got in our way. I assume so. We heard word of a bounty being raised in all of your heads. Whoops. Yep. Wait, I just thought of something. What's Do you up? think that guy Ricaro was part of the Trade Federation? He seemed like a jerk. I don't think mm. so, so man. He was sweet. <laughs> as much as of a odd person he was, I don't think he was part of the Trade Federation. Define sweet. He was a he was a jerk and he was doing that stupid voice. Ooh, I'm Ricaro. He said that I was his real well voice. He got exposed by his own leader. Maybe the leader was trying to mess around. I suppose that's a possibility. I didn't really consider that. A anyway, so sorry, I'm I'm getting I'm derailing the conversation. My my apologies. <laughs> so as you guys uh, as you guys get onto the as you guys uh, talk to him, he basically tells you, I. <clears throat> The ship port it should be up ahead. We'll land. We'll land near there. Do you have any stealth technology enabled on your ship? It would be best not to have this location leaked to the enemy. Uh, yeah, would we, we have, have stealth technology? Stuff? It is a once again, like illegal cargo ship. So, yeah, you guys have stealth technology. Do you guys want dark? Do you want to roll me a repair? <laughs> so, would anybody in our group know that we have that? Uh, after you know couple weeks on the ship, I think we'd probably figure that out. I feel Wait, like I would we had stealth to... technology? Why didn't we consider using that before when we were approaching the planet? It doesn't work like that. Dark? I rolled a repair with some. Yeah. So there was something that you guys... So you guys say that you've learned everything you can about this ship, right? Yeah, that probably sure. been as we were doing all the traveling. Oh, I... There's been one role that I've been waiting for you guys to do when you're checking it over the ship. You guys what? do have an on-site cloaking technology on this ship. Cool. Of have you asked us do. to make that role? Just saying. No, I. That was a hidden one. I mean, we that didn't a... ask. So. <laughs> it was a hidden. It was a hidden thing. I've put it since day one of giving you guys this ship. Okay. I you guys have just asked. never. I didn't say I was going to explore the ship. It's entirety. Apparently, that's not enough, Dark. That's not enough. Apparently, no. Not. When you when you guys explored the ship, you just checked the uh, computer systems for the weapons and how good the engine was. See, that's Zylo, what you did, Dark. That's what you did wrong. And Zylo, I know what you. I remember what you did immediately. You spin went to go chair? check to see if the the spin in the chair. Yes, you went to go check if any of them spun. And they did. Mission accomplished. But Dark, you you didn't you didn't fully look through the ship, unfortunately, or else you would have noticed that. God, this is my thing. <laughs> Plus, you've also been thing. distracted. You've also have been distracted by a lot of droid situations. Mm -hmm. Because I think it was soon after you got your buddy Ko. Speaking of which, none of your droids did were able to find it either. You're just bad. I didn't, I didn't tell them to look. Mm -hmm. You just you just messed up, Dark. You just messed up. 
Sorry, we got through it. So, Don't worry. but the question is, none of you guys know this. Dark is the only one that notices this. Do you tell them? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it on the DL for now. Right. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna be like, yeah, about that. A few planets later. By the way, we have this cloaking thing now uh, installed. <laughs> yep. Oh, and as someone points out, someone pointed out, he did roll low when he was checking the ship the first time. Sure. <laughs> oh, so, see, that's okay. But you, if you're gonna tell me I never looked, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> <laughs> you could have somehow reached really my character. As I said, you're just bad. I don't want to hear it. I know you were spinning in a chair, giving yourself dizziness. I don't know if we actually rolled to see how dizzy you were or not. I we know. did. I, I think I we did, yeah, and I nailed I it. Specifically, remember you tried to see if he threw up or not. Yeah, throw back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he threw up ink. Right. Oh god. Oh god. Glad I wasn't here for that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so I'm guessing you keep down the DL. Um, I'm just gonna, like, like, turn on some basic like jamming technology kind of deal. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn everything on. We turn off our GPS. Like... Turn off your GPS. Wait, that you actually do need the GPS right now. That's how Kayla's following the coordinates. I mean, <laughs> after we land. So we're not gonna turn off the GPS. We do Wait, the thing on, that works in this situation, okay? <laughs> We don't know how spaceships work. Be more specific. Just kidding. So you guys, uh, you guys eventually reach the uh, the hangar that's that's holding your that they originally told you about. Basically, I, I keep calling it a spaceport, but it's actually like a seaport. Mm -hmm. It's just I'm used. I'm like hardwired to a certain word right well, now. Are we in like a bubbly place right now? Uh, no, actually. Okay. The lost city of Atlantis. So we're this straight up like... underwater. Yes. Nice. Quarant territory, baby. So, to explain one thing, you and Ka you and Callie can actually breathe fine in this water. Mm -hmm. We are squids. They are amphibians. Wow. Yes. Well, say I can't planet. breathe underwater, but I can hold my breath for a really long time. I I store the oxygen in my head. <laughs> Really good to know, so I go to poke right. his head to see if it feels like an airbag. <laughs> Is it squishy? Is it squishy, Mev? I, just... I was joking, I don't actually do that. Oh, I'm sorry. My <laughs> suction cup gets stuck on your head for a moment. <laughs> How oh, you touched one of my head burns. Sorry. Wow. Rub some more aloe vera on that. Here, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> We're all technically gas bags. It just doesn't come out of that end. Oh dear. Okay, so what? We're heading somewhere now? Is that a. Yes. Yeah, I suppose we need to so... get off the ship. Yes, yeah, so you guys head over we should to. should probably the, uh... use the airlock, not the cargo bay, to get out of the ship. But actually, if we are underwater, do we have any, like, breathing apparat apparatuses? Apparati? I don't know what word. Yes, thank you for asking that. I was waiting for you someone to ask that. Yeah, um, I just like go out into the water and just. <gasps> you guys in the original sh in the original supplies that the uh, Jedi Council had uh, awarded you guys. Yeah, that or makes sense. Awarded you guys. In the in, there's a crate in the back that has a bunch of supplies for such an occasion. If you guys want to go check that real quick. Let's go look. Let's when go. You guys... Council goodie bag. Mm -hmm. what as you open up, as you get near the crate, you notice that there's one distinct thing on it. Supplies for the trip. Wookie cephalopod do not open. <laughs> I open it. No, I open it. <laughs> I open it yeah, faster. Okay. I, I hit you with a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> I get All hit right. by a crowbar and continue to open it. You're rolling decks on me? Well, I don't know if I'm gonna have a yes, I am. for this, but yeah. You miss. They're the same. Yeah, I so think as, the same bonus. Uh, no. So as you guys open it up, you guys notice Careful. some armored wetsuits in there. Nice. Oh. And also a couple of breathing apparatuses. It seems like there was originally four in there for the original four air breathers of the group. Or is it three, actually? I think, yeah, it would be three, wouldn't it? Yeah, three. So there's three breathing apparatuses. 
Oops, we have an extra. Yeah. yeah. How uh, many armored wetsuits are there? Three of them. Uh, six, actually. Six. Oh, so enough for everybody. Do they all look the same, or are they different colors? And they're all the same. Okay, at that point, I'm like, I want that one. They're the same, so... No. Okay, well, if it doesn't matter either way, that one is mine. Uh, go for it. Take this breathing apparatus while you're at Don't it. argue with me, Walker. I am taking that one. I'm not arguing with you. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, oh, it's your decision. I suppose would it be normal for me and uh, Callie to wear one of these types of suits as well? If you wish, yes. You guys don't require it, but you do if you wish. Yeah. These think... count as these count as light armor, by the way. I'm giving you guys temporary light armor feats for this. Sure. And I look sort of bashfully at the rest of the group, like I'm going to go into the other room to change. I don't want to change in front of you. You know, so you I... can put that over your <laughs> over my entire. What am I going to tuck an entire ropes. <laughs> to a wet wetsuit? It might not work out too well. Yeah. <laughs> True. I take All one right. of the bigger suits and I hand the uh, teddy bear sized one to Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is one teddy bear size for. I take mine. Okay, um, after a minute or two, I come out and I'm still robes. wearing my robes. How are you wearing robes? Over there? <laughs> he tucks them in so he's just real bunchy in certain parts of the wetsuit. No, no, I'm I, I'm actually wearing the suit underneath. Oh, under it, the robes. My robe back on over the top of it like an idiot. <laughs> So I put back the teddy bear suit, and I got one of the normal ones, just uh, so we're clear. Yeah. All right. Probably got the one that fits your size that they originally got for you. Okay, bro. Unless someone took that one. I hope not. Sylvan. Sylvan wearing it just as princess on the front. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> got a little princess name badge. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's like one of those shirts that you see at Hot Topic. It's like hot, like a bad princess. Oh. Sounds like Gallagher. Mario, uh -oh. <laughs> Mario is edgy, ladies and gentlemen. He still shops at Hot Topic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, when was the last time I've been to one? Anyway, All right, we're getting. We leave the ship. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. 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 Uh. Let's see. Okay. So you guys put it on the. You guys put on your wet, your armored wetsuits as you guys, as you. Callie, I'm assuming you put the ship on autopilot to land? Sure. All right. Um, also, I should add real quick, uh, would these armored wetsuits add to our AC at all? Yes, I was about to tell you. In your oh. temporary modifier, can you add a 2 plus 2 AC to it, oh, to gosh. yourself? Thanks. For everybody? Yes, everyone is wearing a wetsuit. But there is one difficulty to this, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll understand when, you, when it comes up. Oh, fantastic. Would I know what this difficulty might be, being from this planet and seeing these before? Same as well. Callie would, you wouldn't. Okay. You weren't raised in this. You weren't raised on this planet. You were raised in the yeah, Jedi Temple. Was. I guess so. Fair enough. And also for the sake of fairness, Mario, because I put my robes on over my wetsuit, and I am... We're going into water, and I'm going to be wearing big, wet, heavy robes. Should I lower my dexterity with a temporary <laughs> modifier? Sure. My robe is water resistant. <laughs> I'll lower it by two, I guess, to sure. balance out the armor. I'm going to be underwater. I can't use my gun. Yeah. Yeah. We probably should need... take our guns with us in that case. We'll, we'll to get like water get damaged or... in the water. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be a problem. I bring my rake for sure. I'm gonna use it like an oar. Yeah. When I'm on the water. Are lightsabers they... waterproof? Yes, yeah. they, they can be. Yeah. They can yeah, be they've been... water. They're, they can be used in space and in the water. I think they've even been used like near magma, so. So basically, they're just extremely durable. So yeah. guns aren't waterproof is what I'm getting from this. I believe we have special technology to use um, special guns under here. Yeah, you need specialized weapons However, for that. However, a lot of the planet, there are some domes that some of the Mon Calamari Highborns like to stay in so they're not wet all the time. I sense so a little the, bit of uh, The guns might be good. I mean, it's just there. 
Anyway. I just, I just look over to Callie like, mm, you know. So, anyway, you guys uh, land. I'm guessing you guys go out the airlock so that way you don't flood the, uh, you don't flood the, uh, cargo bay. I'd be for the man. Drown Gary. Uh, Terry, before he leaves, as you guys walk past, though, is nowhere to be seen in the, in the secondary cargo bay. Oh, well. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's a problem. Terry, you're in charge. <laughs> Should we check on him? What does that mean, Terry? Not exactly communicating clearly, Terry. I'm, I'm up check here. Him. What is up here? Where do we hear the sound coming from? We look up. <laughs> from the, from the, yeah, you guys look up, and Terry is currently tangled in all the pipes and all that up there. What are you doing up there, Terry? Terry? I was aware we were in ship combat, and I got tossed everywhere. Terry, um, this is no time to be playing in the pipes. We uh, have more important things to do. Focus, Terry. Someone get him out. It's all right. I can, can use I the force Gary? to move him. No, I want Gary to get him. <laughs> can I get Gary to like reach up, grab him gently, and put him down? It's probably a lot you know, safer. Terry doesn't actually have like proper mandibles to do that, right? It's no, it's with very teeth. sharp. All right, you tell Gary to try to do that. Can you roll me an animal, animal handling for that then? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness you have a plus 80. <laughs> right? Jeez. Uh... Gets an actual one. I'm going to be very upset. Mm -hmm. Now that I've spoken into existence. I think that'll be... Nah, we don't got time for that. All right. You have a plus 20 in that. I... Yep. <laughs> yes, I was exaggerating, but... She's... It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I can help. I can help dislodge him, and I reach my rake up and try to start like hitting him like a pinata. Yeah, not hitting him, more just like poking and kind of prying at him with my rake. He's like, "Ow, please stop!" Ow. <laughs> and uh, Gary just it try. Gary tries to go on her hind legs to try to reach up to get up to him, <laughs> and she barely reaches him and tugs on it once. And he does fall, but a couple pipes fall with him as she kind of like forced his body through the pipes. Yep. And he's like, oh. All right, Terry, while we are gone, we're going to need you to fix those pipes. I don't know if they're important, but best be safe. That's the spirit, Terry. So, one question, Ko. I'm oh. leaving Cole here. We don't really have a choice, do we? No, because he's he mechanical boy. He's not built for this. Probably not. I mean, he's a partially organic. It's just we don't have another suit in his size. Because one of our suits People. is a teddy bear size. We have a wait. We have one in a Wookiee size. <laughs> yeah, we, have one in, we have six. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's the other size? I guess one like Wookiee one is teddy bear. Yeah. What's the other one? So, uh, the one for. Oh, wait, no, we had. Oh, we already have all of them. Mm. <laughs> I thought we were three still. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think the closest thing we could do to get away with this is me wearing the, the Wookiee sized one. Oh, that, so the, uh, the -sized that the still would be pretty size. baggy. <laughs> Wookie Wookie size, baggy. I, have to leave I guess I could have wore the Wookiee size and put my robe, like, left my robe on <laughs> underneath it yes. <laughs> to fill it out, but it's too late now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Co yeah, we put Ko in the Wookiee-sized one. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable taking Ko out of here. Cause... Yeah, you're right. All right, Co so this will be the first adventure in a good long while that Ko doesn't join you on. This will be complicated, so we need you to watch I mean, the ship. I mean, I'll probably sort of... Also... Go ahead. I was going to say, I also think it's for the best, because when he gets taken over by Sith Lord, the Sith Lord likes to throw around electricity. <laughs> I was going to, like... Say to the rest of the group, it's like, is it in our best interest to leave him alone, though, with everything that's been happening with him lately? Never. We don't it's also him. not in our best interest to bring him with us, so... Yes. If he is made out of machinery, after all, if he gets wet, it's going to be really difficult to take care of him after that. So I suppose yeah. neither one is a good choice, but we're choosing the lesser of two evils, that means. Yes. Precisely. Alright. So, as you guys, uh... As you guys probably depart your ship, 
we're gonna end up in a underwater hangar. It is full of those fighters that you saw before that came to your aid. Squid ships. Mm -hmm. Nice. In this in the in this hangar, you guys are uh, greeted by uh, by the pilot that you guys had talked to over the intercom. He has taken off his helmet. Uh, Callie, if you want to know if you know this person, uh, roll a. Let's see. So you're also Never. saying we see a bunch of soldiers. Yeah, this hangar's full of them. So this he's probably not even realizing it. Says him to says to himself like, "Man, these guys are ugly." And then, and then looks over at Callie and Seth and says, oh, oh, oh so, sorry, sorry, not, not, no, no offense. What's the population yeah. looking like here? Is it like mostly Mon Calamari or are there corn as well? All of Kayla's race. Remember, they're in a civil war right now. Are they like against each other? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So were well, they probably not like Seth in that mm -hmm. uh, case? Probably mm -hmm. wouldn't be happy he's there. Great. So, what do um, I need to roll to see if I know him? Uh, I was going to tell you, uh, you're probably your best chance of this is probably roll me a, uh, a intelligence roll as a, uh, or a wisdom, which is like the best for like memory. That'd be wisdom. Yeah, wisdom, wisdom then. It depends on the topic, I think more so. But, yeah. Just remembering a person, I'd say wisdom. Ooh. Nope. You do not recognize this person. Cadet Akbar? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, he says a twat. They... But he he walks up to you and says, "My princess, it's good to see you home after your weird departure from the planet." Good to be do you... here. Do you remember why you left the planet, or? Uh, originally, I thought I ran away, but um. I want to live my 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 own life. Weird Mom, too. Dad. <laughs> yeah, but then I think she wanted to go home, so it kind of changed. But so I don't think I really had a reason. I know when we first met uh, you, you, you weren't you... interested in going back home right away. Yeah, so I think your I think your thing changed when you heard about the Civil War. I think that was the whole thing about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I will message you the reason you originally gave me. Cool. Yeah, I don't. There you go. That was your reason you originally gave me, so I don't know if oh. you want to use. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Sweet Chris. <laughs> I... That's okay. That's up to you if you want to tell them or not. I love Caleb. It, that's up to you if you want to. <laughs> oh, I said my memory, this. <laughs> my memory is apparently very bad, but uh. Yeah, okay. we can tell you rolled a six on your wisdom. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I don't think I would mention anything now, okay. but I guess I'd probably just be like, yeah, it's it's good to be back. But like kind of in a way where like I'm clearly not too happy about it, I guess. Um, She's being coy. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you guys, uh, as you guys exit the ship, uh, uh, Cephalopod does get a few eyes on him. Mm hmm. Some people do raise a blaster, but the other ones just... Some other people force their blasters down and just say, He's a Jedi. But he's a... But he's one of them. But he's a Jedi. He's neutral. Meaning he's not with them. You hear those kind of whispers all over the place? You Let me can I just say wave. something like... Can I just be like, he's with me? And just clear everything up or Let me something? ask a qu question also. Is this... I'll go ahead and answer her first. My, my bad. Uh, yeah, you can proclaim that if you want and try to quell yeah. some of their fears. Yeah, so I'll just I go ahead and say that. He's with me. He's fine. Um, is this hangar, like, are we still underwater? No, I know the hangar yeah. itself is underwater, but, like, are we still in water right now with our mouth breathing devices? Like, or is it, is there, like, air? Is it kind of like an airlock? No, it's, uh, it's all underwater. You are okay. currently using your breathers to breathe right now. Sylvan's like... <laughs> You know there's a setting on the thing so you can speak through it, you know, you just need to... Oh, 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 no, but I didn't gotcha. know I wasn't involved. Why, why are they looking at us like that? Uh, I mean, generally, the uh, Mon Calamari and the Quarren don't get along too well. And the because, Jedi order well, you. you know them, so... I don't, I, I, I don't but I, I, I will I mean, take you... I mean, you know Callie and... Oh, 
F fair enough. Apple doesn't <laughs> fall far from the tree, you know. Okay, yeah, it makes, it makes Pearl sense. doesn't fall far from the clamshell, you know. I can I... tell them that we're not on the same side, you what? know. I was having a conversation with Sylvan. <laughs> a very loud, overhearable conversation. <laughs> Because this is an A B conversation, so if you could see your way out of it, Gally, that would be great. So <laughs> you are currently in my kingdom, thank you very much, and I will not be spoken to in that manner. Oh, I'm I, not paid enough to deliver I, you here. I do apologize. You see what though. I mean? <laughs> With first telepathy to something. By all means, by the way, <laughs> you have done your job, Dark, by the way. Yeah, you could go. At this point, he's just waiting to get paid so he can bounce. <laughs> I, I need a pay raise. Hello? Walker, due to the current situation, I believe it is in our best interest to ensure that uh, Miss Kelly Mari gets to her final destination before we part ways. And I guess after what Callie said to him, you'll see Sylvan look at her and just sort of smile and begrudgingly say, Yes, your highness. <laughs> So, while we're being led, can I ask these people about, like, the state of my family, like, where they are at, and mm -hmm. as well as the other you... person? Alright, uh, can you roleplay it out, just how do you ask them? Yeah. So, with everything going on, where's my family? The royal family. They're still at the palace, but the palace has been under siege for a month now. They've been able to hold off, but they were able to hold off the original Quarren, uh, Quarren invaders. But with the Trade Federation sending in their new specialized droids, they've been, uh, they've, they've been getting hit harder. Do we, we don't have know a how long, plan to not... rescue them or take the kingdom back? At the moment, we were hoping that you were going to bring some kind of reinforcements, even though it was not... Even though we did not know of any, even though we could not communicate with you, we were hoping that you were going to bring some kind of army with you. Well, obviously she did. We're here. The council is aware Generally. of the situation. However, the current mission was just to bring Miss Kelly Murray back to the planet. Also, it seemed as though, wait, are you sure that Jedi Council have not intervened in any way? I do not know if they have or have not intervened, but they are fully aware of the situation. I told them myself. Are you absolutely are. sure about that? Because we had seen some uh, lightsaber users out in the field. Oh, they get there fast. And as I said, count. they are aware of the situation. I don't know if they're here. Huh. But they couldn't have really beat us here. We only told them recently. Did they have red lightsabers? Uh, yes, actually. Okay, you'll see there's a, there's a certain difference. Normally, when you see a Jedi, they will not have a red lightsaber. They have a blue <laughs> lightsaber, a green lightsaber, in my case, purple lightsaber. But, but when... they are helping us, right? No, they have been oh. aiding the Quarrens. Ooh, yeah, they ain't no Jedi, buddy. And are the Trade Federation aiding the Quarrens, or you? They, we have had both those, what we assumed traitors or ally or from your Jedi Council aiding the Quarrens while the Trade Federation arrived about a few weeks ago. At first they were only giving supplies, but soon after they gave, they started sending down specialized droids that seemed to be working fine in the water. Yes, but you didn't say who, for who? For for you guys or for the uh, for the opposing army? The oh. opposing army. How do you okay. get this sort of funding? Usually you guys are the ones with all of the funding here. So from my understanding, it's the Quarrens that started all of this. I don't know if they started it. They just happen to be doing better at it at the moment. But however... He pulls, the, he pulls the guys in for a second and tells them, Okay, I don't... Okay, this... You did not hear this from me, but the reason for this war was actually caused by the royalty. Excuse me? I turned to Callie. As in... As in Callie? The Quarrens... Callie? The Quarrens... The Quarrens are actually rising to surprise, power. Surprise! Surprise! In the political power, and we believe that your father, the king, 
attempted an assassination against the Quarren leadership. Um, I see. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but your father grew a bit deranged after your runaway. He grew desperate to, co to, co to hold power. Perhaps well. now with um, Gally returning, we can get some sense made out of this. But However, you don't understand what he's asking of me. It also, you, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Mon Calamari seem to be in a position of weakness at the moment in the war. Yes, they did not expect the we did not expect the Korans to have ready and able allies such as this on the go. That seems strange. I... Now question, would this all have started because I ran away and didn't do what I was supposed to do? You or... don't know. You don't know in character? Okay. You don't know yet. Alright. Um. Well. Is there any way I can speak to the king? Unfortunately. They seem to have on-site dis uh, disruptors. We can't get a signal in or out of the palace. As from what you said, the palace was under siege for a month. I suppose it would be difficult to get inside. And even trying to communicate earlier, couldn't get a signal until mm -hmm. we yeah. were- Wait, Callie, this was your palace, right? You grew up here, right? Indeed. Do you know of any other ways of getting in that maybe everybody doesn't know about. Secret tunnel through the reef or something? Yes, perhaps wow. even a sewage or ventilation system or something that gets in there where people don't normally travel through. Would I? Roll. Roll intelligence. It's her palace. You <laughs> should know. Little kids are bored of. Hmm. Makes sense you roll for it. Well. Oh. Can I reroll? <laughs> That's up to you if you want to reroll that. Rerolling that. Okay. okay. Um, so, actually, there was that no. Was my there's no. By the way. There is no secret tunnel getting in and out of the palace that you're aware of. But as a kid, you were so good at hiding, being able to be so stealthy, hence why your class is what it is at the beginning, mm -hmm. um, that you were able to easily sneak around your own palace to get in and out whenever you wanted. Without hardly anyone ever noticing. Well, I don't know of any secret ways necessarily to get in, but I am pretty good at sneaking. We're a pretty sneaky bunch. So yeah. I suppose if we want to talk to the king, we could sneak in. See if he has any idea of how to fix this whole situation. Well, from the information presented to us, I don't really see any better options right now. I mean, what are we going to do? Just go out on the battlefield and start shooting and fighting people? That seems ridiculous. The council did not seems send maybe. me here to fight a war. So... Seems maybe getting to your father and speaking to him might be the next best course of action. The, the king... The king has already tried to negotiate a peace, but the Korans want total and utter domination over, over our kingdom. They won't accept any less. Now, is there anyone outside that I would be able to contact to help, as far as, like, an army? All you would know is of the uh, Quarren people, I mean, the Moncala people, then what you see is what you get at this hangar. You're unaware of the other standing armies right at the moment. Alright. Slovon would probably ask this guy, also, um, sir, may I ask, do we have any information on the Quarren leadership? who it is and where they may be located. At the moment, I'm the field commander. I've been keeping this area under secure, thankfully, with some stealth and some careful targeting of the enemy sh scouts. Uh, for our general commander, he's back at, he's over at the Southern Ridge, trying to hold back the main forces of the army. We're holding steady, but, but the Jord army seems to be endless. No, no, you, you you misunderstand me. Not your leadership. The enemy's leadership. Do we know who that is and where they might be? Hmm. Their, their leadership is within their capital ship. A heavily fortified, fortified uh, ship-like castle. 
the thing is, we've tried sending multiple attacks against it. Nothing seemed to have worked. Um, would that would that have been one? Of, did we see that ship on the way in, or is that ship potentially located elsewhere? It's potentially located elsewhere. Okay. On the surface, it seems like the planet is calm, but if you go under the water, it changes. Yeah, so it's hard to really see where everything is all the time. A lot of radar, a lot of sonar. Yeah. That was more like on our way into the planet. Did we see that ship? But I'm I'm assuming it's not, it's not outside the orbit of this planet, like the, all the trade ships were when we got here. No. It wasn't. It was underwater. Okay, so well, if you've sent a tax to try to get to that fortified uh, spaceship, have you... You are aware of its location, then? Of course we do. It hasn't moved from its position. Huh? And where it's would being... that... It's on, the other... it's on the other side of the planet. In their own capital city. Okay, so it's on this planet, you're saying? Yes, yes. This is the Quarren and the Mont Calamari share a planet. It's just, they're not always the best at sharing. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm just trying to think this through. Obviously, going and speaking to uh, Callie's father would be um, a smart move for us, but uh, it seems if well, they're bent on, you know, full trust. domination, the only way to maybe stop them would be to dismantle their leadership somehow. I think it's best if we talk to my father and just see. As we see yes, yes, his I side do of the story. Perhaps if there is a point where we can sever the aid to the Quarrens, we could get mm. rid of the probably Dark Jedi and Trade Federation without hurting is, either side. There is one chance we have, actually. And that is? We've been in communications with the with the Karkarans. They're they're also an amphibious species. And potentially they could come to our aid if persuaded. But we, have, but as we have said, we haven't been able to get a communications out. Even well, our best hackers have been a, haven't been able to pierce through the wall of static that the Trade Federation has put up. Your well, your best hackers aren't walk or win. That's all I will say. It's true. Good. Do you wish to give it a try? I can give it my best shot. Go for it. So what does he have to do? He's gonna head into the back area where a bunch of uh, Wong, Wong Kalamari people are trying to get things going, trying to break through the communication hold. You see about four of them hard at work. Two of them stop to see what to see who just entered the room. Um, they ask you. They ask you, what are you doing here? Um. I'm here to help with the hacking. He's a hacker man. Is a human really going to be enough to get it through? We haven't been able to break through it, so why not? There's an empty, there's an empty spot See over there. See what I mean with these people? <laughs> I just was being impartial, Jedi. I am impartial. So I'm guessing you head over to that empty spot they told you about, and you yep. start working. I guess in the chair and I start doing my IT stuff. Alright, roll me a computer it. use. I know how to use computer. I don't know if it's well, but I know how to use it. Ooh, that's a really good roll, start. actually. Not bad. Mm -hmm. now, let me see. Okay. Now I need you to roll me one last thing. Okay. I need you to roll me a... Uh, I'll let you choose. It's either disabled device or forgery. Disabled device or forgery. Ah, uh, let's do disabled device. Cool. That's really good. So, okay. not only do you, because you have some hidden information. Do you remember that data pad that the, you guys had taken from the Trade Federation when you guys left? Of course we. Yes. Did. By the way, can I just point something out? By the way, mm -hmm. you guys still have mm -hmm. that aquatic data for the, those specialized joys that they were talking about a little while ago. Yeah. Sure. You guys never really used them, used it for anything. You guys have always just had it. Mm -hmm. Has there any, been any reason that they would use it up until uh, now? Until now. I mean, the Jedi yeah. has the information. The Jedi Council has all that information as well, so. Mm hmm So, yeah. Anyway, so, so you guys... By that, do you mean it would be information on the droids that 
Cali's going to start fighting like their weaknesses and things like that. Exactly. Yes. They're, they're full schematics. It was a uh, it was a hidden item that they found on that ship. Yeah, when I was making call, right? Yeah. The ship you made call on. Um, okay, so you not only break through the using the information and using the data pad information, you right re realize a pattern that the, the trade federation seems to be using. Ooh. You mark them down as lazy well, for not changing their information, but like using it. You break through the community. You break through the static, and not only that, you're able to send a signal through their through their communication hub and actually fry it on their end. Oh. You, se <laughs> you sent the you sent the feedback back into themselves. Hacker man. As we said, they aren't Walker Win. <laughs> and it's easy as pie. There you go. And as if on cue, they were all like, "The human did it." Huh. Of course I, I did. did. And they all, one guy just comes by and just pats you on the back like, you're awesome. Thank you. And uh, the others start sending out communications, start sending out aid requests kind of deal. They start communicating, basically. You don't know how long it's going to last, though. The Trade Federation could be easily trying to repair their systems right now. So, you, the, 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 with the limited time you have right now, it'll be best to try to get... Try to send out what you need to. Do you yeah. Do you tell the others what you have done? Yes, sir. You tell them. Guys, I did it. But be quick, the... get any messages you need sent, sent now. Yep. What should I As you get... Uh, to the people he probably told you about the... Car Car Rodents? Yeah. Are those the shark people? Yep. Oh, I'm surprised you know that one. I did my research on my home planet. <laughs> They're not native to your planet, but they are. They but they come from a planet similar to Moncala. But yeah. I send the information to Shark Boy. Well, I guess uh, you send that out. You give them uh, you give them a signal of help, mm -hmm. and they respond in kind of saying, "What is in it for us? What do they want?" You're the diplomat here. Yeah, this would. Who is going to be diplomat to them? You could either let the general, the commander, try to diplomatic, no. or you guys can try. Yeah, one of them. I don't no. know what to offer them. Uh, don't not. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Seth is it's his kind of literally the cause of this war. So, um, I guess I just let. <laughs> oh, if I remember correctly, it was your dad who killed one of the people. Yeah, but it's like. If I had pupils, they would be dilating it, right now. If if <laughs> if their kind didn't exist, then no. So sensing a lot of hostility here. <laughs> you just kind of point. Listen, all squid lives are important. Okay. I will let the commander offer something. I don't know what to offer them. All right. I think about also suggesting we share the droid information with them, but then I change my mind. All right. So uh, the commander steps forward and says. We need your aid. What do you want? Doc is like, we'll take it for credits and land. You want land. I can't guarantee you any land with no royalty around. Oh no. <laughs> we have royalty around. Kayla. We don't have land. We're all on the water. Yeah, we can offer you water. water land? <laughs> Territory, I, land I think, is the, is the right correct term. term. Can I give you? A, can I give you an aquarium? <laughs> How but much land at, are we talking? They point out like the uninhabited uh, eastern quadrant. The reason it's uninhabited, though, is because. A lot of wildlife is there, and you guys have been kind of like nature preserving it, kind of deal. Mm. Can't do that. And they ask, "We want to settle a co new colony there, a, w a world within the core system." But the wildlife. Oh, oh man. <laughs> you cannot convince Callie Mary to make that deal happen. Ah. <laughs> uh. Mm. Is there anything else you guys would like? 
Does it have to be that area? That That's a, a nature preserve. Could we work out something where you don't disturb the nature? It's just kind as of a mean thought we, to me. As far as we know, all other quadrants are either taken by the Quarren people or the Moncalas. Well, I mean, if we win this battle, you can just take over the Quarren territory. Hold on it just a second. An issue. Can't steal the <laughs> land from my people. This is, um, I mean, I know you people are used to doing that, but it doesn't mean that we should <laughs> condone that sort of behavior. Nice. We really need the help, so I suppose suppose the land is yours. We'll make arrangements for the animals. Good, good. We'll be sending our fleets. Moment. We'll be sending our fleets as soon as they're ready. Though I will say this. It's good you took this deal. Because the Quarrens had contacted us not too long ago. Oh. And we they were, were about that. to off and they were about to offer us your capital. Ah. Well, I'm happy to have you on our side. I and don't really condone that sort of behavior either. You. So. We'll be sending our fleets as soon as they are ready. We cannot promise them to be to be ready at this moment. But we'll That's send right. you our aid as soon as we can. Good to hear. Thank you. And, it, and some of the other people, are, you hear them chattering, you hear them talking. Yes, yes, supplies, soldiers, anything, mercenaries. And all that kind of talk. It seems like they're trying to make deals right now with other planets and systems, yeah. trying to get soldiers, troops, supplies. While they're um, all, you know, panicking, making the best of this, could I possibly step out and make some communications towards the Jedi Council? Uh, sure. Yep. You have you have the you have the moment open with cool. the no, with none of that. Oh, Mr. Windu! <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Uh, hello, is this a uh, Stephlopod? Yes, it is. Uh, I assume that you are from what looks to be water around you. You are at your destination. <laughs> yes, we have reached the planet Moncal. The princess is safely in the hands of their military. However, it doesn't look like their military is, any, is in any safe position. What mm. will you have me do next? Technically, I'm still sort of in charge of Callie and Walker, considering they're somewhat Jedi now. Uh, yes, we had, given, we had gotten word of the Dantooine situation and their force sensitivity. Though the one, though we on the on Coruscant may not agree with the decision, we will respect the count the the council's decision on Dantooine. So what would you have me do? The uh, the Mon Cal seem to be losing quite significantly. But do what do what the Force guides you to do. From here on, you are a Knight of the Jedi Republic. So you're what? saying I can. Do what I want. <coughs> Let the force guide your decision. And will you be? Do not give me that look. No, oh, I give me that look. You still represent. You still represent the Jedi Council. Of course I do. Of course I do. I represent the Jedi Council. Is so that, force... that like step aside to have? Yeah, this I probably like stepped outside yeah, the war tent to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I heard this, Sylvan would be like, seriously, let the <laughs> force guide you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and I'm sure since I stepped outside and it's full of the um, Han Cal soldiers, they're all just looking at me. <laughs> it would be it would be the equivalent of like, wait, you're letting Santa Claus guide your fate? <laughs> <laughs> Is there going to be any assistance uh, sent towards the planet? There yeah. seem to be dark side users here as well. They seem to be everywhere. All the it seems like all the failed part of ones, any of the trainees that did not gain masters have seemed to have joined this dark Jedi cult. We are currently fighting on them on all ends. We can spare only a few Jedi to aid you, but that will all, but that will, would be all. We cannot send any sizable force to aid you. Anything you could send would help. The Republic, is also, the Republic is also unable to take a full stand against, against the core and threat as well. Yes. It seems that there's a lot of uh, outside forces being hired on both sides now. So, 
Not exactly the place of the Republic. Yes, it seems the politicians for both races are currently arguing with each other within the uh, within the uh, council room as we speak. Well, if you have any news, I suppose that we're probably not going to have contact for long. So do your best. I will let the Force guide me. Yes. As a Jedi Knight representing the Jedi Council. I am going to regret this. But did Seth tell us where he was going, or did he just like nah, step just out? I stepped out quietly. Where did Seth go? Isn't this a good time to just be walking away? Aren't we supposed to be figuring things out? <laughs> Farewell, Master Windu. May the Force be with you. Yes, yes. And the Force be with you as well. Now, someone give me my lightsaber. I'm heading off to war. Mm -hmm. So, with the news that I just became a Jedi Knight, I just ignite my lightsaber and stick it into the air. Yeah. You've been a Jedi Knight. You were newly appointed uh, on your first mission. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Wait, you <laughs> that was your whole thing at the beginning. Gotcha. It was I do it anyway. <laughs> I am representing the Jedi Council. This is a you lightsaber, not, not a hairbrush. The other people are just staring at you. Oh, like, yeah, they are. I'm, put, I'm putting on a show. <laughs> and the corns are like... Come on, Kyle, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all just see me ignite a big weapon. <laughs> they're really like... Corins. Yeah. Yeah, they're all crazy. <laughs> we all hit each other down here. <laughs> Well, you guys are at war right now. Yeah. You'd probably still, and, still been quite concerned and be like, where, where did he go? Is this really a time to just walk off? And if we're going by the Star Wars timeline, this is going to be the first of the two civil wars in the just before the Clone Wars. Yeah. So we kind of approaching that sort of territory. Yeah. Wait, that's two years before? About three years before the events of Episode 1. Uh you know, the Phantom Menace and all that yeah. made Darth Maul, yeah. Um, okay. So, with that being I said, you get... Am I the only one who's concerned about this? About Seth being gone? Yeah, we're sitting here trying to figure out what to do and he just walks out of the room. I'd probably be like, where did he go? Why did he just leave? Where is he coming back? <laughs> and as you're thinking that, I cast the tent, um, or whatever the room we're in. I would walk in and be like, all right. Seems the Jedi Council has appointed, appointed me to be in charge of uh, handling the situation here. <laughs> totally not what he said, but, you know, you do you. I say, I say I represent the Jedi Council, so I'm in charge of the Jedi actions so on the planet. <laughs> seriously, they, they chose you. Well, I'm already here. Also, I am a Jedi Knight representing the Jedi Council, and they believe in my abilities and my connection. Okay, more importantly, are they sending help? Eh, not a lot, no. So they might be able to spare a few, but it sounds like they're a bit busy. And once again, we don't have technical, you know, jurisdiction to come fight the civil war for you. I suppose any help will help. However, anyway. I as now that I am, you know, committed into seeing this through, we are going to end this war. Oh, and how do you suppose we do yes, that? We are. Yes. So anyway, without wasting any more time, I think we should try our best to get into the castle and talk yes, to I the king. Still think going and trying to speak to your yes, father. That is step idea. one of the twelve part plan. Oh, Twelve you have parts. Twelve parts, do you? Twelve part plan. Alright. You know what? I'm not even gonna make you recite all twelve parts. What is part two? How about that? We'll start there. Part two. <laughs> Figure out part two. Listen. No. <laughs> Look, part one, you know? we get in contact with them. Then we try to hear... We get in contact with the Quart leadership. Part two. You may be part of the Jedi Council, but this is still my kingdom. And you I'll are you still you may not have a kingdom for under long my charge, as just... long as you hold that lightsaber. I'm really tempted to just take the lightsaber out of my bag and just throw it on the ground. 
<laughs> Would my squid still work underwater? Kathy, I, it I might. I yeah, really your squid still. Serious. We all know this whole Jedi thing is a bunch of mumbo jumbo now. So the squid still does work underwater? Yeah, it was made by the. It was that a Corrin sense. original. And you named it Squid Stool, so. Yeah. I mean, uh, not Corrin, uh, Moncala oh, yeah. mm -hmm. weaponry. Alright, I take my lightsaber out of my pack or wherever I have it, put it in front of him, and I just drop it. Like Mike drops it. It's. Except it's underwater, so it's like. <laughs> Still. And then I turn and I walk the other way, heading towards the kingdom area to talk to the king. Alright, well. She's doing step sure. one of my plan anyway. I pick up the lightsaber, tuck it away. Hmm. Part one, it is. Hmm. We contact What's our father. Oh, I guess. You know. Okay. Okay, so, good. A good Jedi leader adapts the plans of those around him. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> you knew this was going to get weird the second you stepped on Moncala, right? I knew that. <laughs> I just didn't think it was gonna go this weirdly. <laughs> I knew it was gonna get weird anytime I do anything with you guys, so <laughs> that's a given. <laughs> that's a given. <laughs> anyway, so you guys so you guys make Welcome your way towards the uh to Jurassic. What do you guys head to now Thank actually? For the sun. I should ask. Just wherever we need to go to talk to the king. Yeah. But sneakily. Well that's the thing. You guys have gotten rid of the the uh the planetary block, uh, communication block, but they still have their own site one. Mm -hmm. The one they have been jamming around the castle, you still can't get through to the castle. You're telling me my hacking ability, my hacking prowess didn't do that? No, because that's a local, that's a local source. We're not going to be able to send communications and then we're going to have to keep flippers on the ground. We move in. I have yeah, I thought we were just we were, we we're going to the castle to go inside to talk to the king. We're yeah, not trying to okay. communicate with them. We're just trying yeah. to get into it. Yeah. And then the troop says, "Princess, since you're, since you would be taking leadership here, what is our next goal then? What do we do?" Well, our first goal is just to talk to the king. Until then, prepare for the shark people to arrive and help us. Shall we send a battalion to aid you? No. This is stealth just... mission. Yeah, that might just draw more attention to us, so... Hmm. I think just let us go. We say a lot about our, our squad here, but there's one thing that is true. We do not draw attention to ourselves. <laughs> we are yeah. the truth, Seth. We are, I we meant are very... we are stealthy. We are very good at staying under the radar. What is it that you do to new come to new people you meet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except for underwater, so my tentacles instead of hanging like they usually are, are more free floating a little bit. <laughs> uh. Okay. So, do we start guys... to head towards the castle? Or yeah. Palace? So you guys leave. Of course, you guys are also taking supplies you would need for for this long journey. Mm -hmm. Uh. Can everyone roll me a swim real quick, actually? Finally, oh our plus to swim is gonna matter. My minus to swim is just oh no. I feel like I don't have like do oh wait I do have a plus in swim. I still just yeah I think bad, you have I a guess. base plus four in your. Oh, uh... better than you. Yeah. And you're a squid. Oh, yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Sylvan is just killing it. He's he's doing the backstroke and all that. I'm using my rake as like an oar in the water to propel <laughs> myself forward. <laughs> I have a plus just eight. I just rolled real bad, so. Yeah, I'm just shook to be back, so I'm just struggling. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous to talk to the king. Also, can I, also as fun. we are, we've started to move now, right? Mm -hmm. I want to oh. use my far-seeing ability one more time to see if there are any immediate threats or even actually far threats like in our path that could potentially spot us. If that's okay. Oh. All right. So immediately you do see ships overhead passing through, Corin uh, style ships from what Monk, from uh, Callie can tell you. But luckily you guys are deep towards the ground that they cannot spot you that well. You guys are not in a large enough group to be picked up by too heavily on a radar or sonar. Cool. Nice. 
Also, I'd like to think I was rolling well, be or swimming well, because of the shape of my head. It doesn't aerodynamic. Yeah, it's like it's like water dynamic, I guess, yeah, not air. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, doesn't doesn't hydrodynamic. Resist. Yeah, yeah. Hydro there we go. I just want to remind everyone he's wearing a bunch of robes, so that's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I did lower my uh, dexterity. I don't know if that would affect that roll. No, but... it's a strength roll. Oh, okay. Now, from what the from what they had told you before, you guys have a there are there is about to be an abandoned outpost about to be on the uh, about to be ahead of you guys. The outpost was abandoned because of a uh, multiple bombing runs that originally happened at this location. Right. You do, guys we are have to rest. do we have huh? any reason to stop there? Have we traveled long enough that we need to rest or anything? Uh, it has been about four hours of swimming. While you guys could rest, I think it's mainly the fact that this path, this this uh, outpost was originally created because it was one of the only pathways through the trench to, that led directly to the castle. Hmm. I suppose... Hmm. Yeah, pause for a second, take note of the damage. Um, as you guys do, you guys do notice. Oh, water. Oh, look water. at the pretty coral. <laughs> That's pretty. Just when I thought we were going to get through one session without a fight. Nope. <laughs> You're literally we're in a about war about to fight there. seaweed. <laughs> Mario power games us into a fight. We almost had one chat. We almost had one session without a battle. <laughs> we could sneak around. Then Wait, those aren't seaweed. Those are water droids. And I'm guessing I didn't see any of this kind of stuff with uh, with my far seeing ability ahead of time. No, it's been long enough where you spotted one set, one set of enemies. Uh, you could, I would, I would, uh, since you rolled well enough, you would be able to spot movement before they could detect you. So, one could say he has a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling. Discord cut him out and everything. Big shame. I have a bad yeah. feeling about this. There we go. There you go. So you guys are on that side. You That's the side you come in from. The droids seem to be circling a certain area. It seems to be a patrol. Since that seems to be the way out of this trench area. Have they seen us yet? No, they have not. Do we have to go through there to get to where we're going? Yeah, can we bypass them and go around? It is possible to do so, yes. But you would have to make you would have to try to distract them in some way. I could be distraction. I say we just take them down. What's a couple of droids? Oh, hi Siri. <laughs> I say we. I say we. <laughs> I swear, half the time I could say, hey, Siri, and she doesn't respond. But then you say, I say we, and then she's like, yeah. Prime example. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Siri. So I Siri. could distract them and say, oh, everything is clear here, because I look like the people they're sided with. Mm -hmm. It is possible. True. I mean, we could try it. If anything, we just end up fighting them anyway. So Worst case scenario, it's me within slicing range of droids. Precisely. Right. Feel free. I'm gonna say ahead of time, I don't think my force lightning ability is gonna be useful in this yep, battle. I would not go using that. I think yeah, it's really it. useful. We it could be very bright, up. they will see us coming. Mm. <laughs> I don't think that's the reason. I actually don't know how force lightning works in the water, I'm not gonna lie. Like, Big does group. it- It's fun to just treat it like electricity. Yeah, I, I, I'm aware, I'm just saying it's like, if it's, we're treating it like electricity, does it just shock the person trying to use it? I feel like it would shock everybody in the immediate vicinity. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't even know how like an open water electricity works though, because it doesn't shock everything. Um, yeah. That's what I'm saying, so it might be best not to... It's fun to just play around with the, the fear of it, though. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, I guess I would like to, uh, you know, I uh, quickly just ink in my hands a little bit. Just rub a little on my face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ew. All right, so you approach the, uh, yeah. you approach the droids? Mm-hmm. I approach right. the droids. Yeah, swim over. 
Should I just move there on the map? Yep. All right. Oh. Upon seeing you, there you are. Through the, through the droids, stop by. It's like, stop right there. Identify yourself. Identify yourself. Oh, my name. My name. I, I got hit in the head. Oh, my brother. Oh, he, he died deserving the cause. His name was Jeff Lopod. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just ambushed a group of us to the south. Oh. Jeff Lopod, Jeff Lopod. Scanning. Died in trench warfare See. two, oh, one week ago. One week ago. I'm just trying to carry on his memory, but... The, the others, they are in danger. We weren't able to communicate with you. We need help. Identify, identification chip, identification chip. They took it out of my hand. They took it out of your neck? They took it out they of They took it neck. out of my okay. neck. <laughs> my hand neck. <laughs> I got hit I the head, you don't know. The neck of my hand. Remember One droid. The neck of the hand. One droid take, switches out his blaster for medical supplies. Applying aid. Applying aid. Applying aid. Thank you. I just like... This is my ink-smeared hands. I just like put a little on my neck to confuse him. <laughs> dirty neck. Dirty neck. Dirty neck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank no you. wound visible. No wound visible. No wound visible. It's good to know. I was able to get away without much harm. But the others... They, they could use your help. They need you. No identification chip marker anywhere. None, none, none. What was your name? My name? Beth Lopod. <laughs> scanning database, scanning database. Quick hack from computer. <laughs> Roll me another gamble. I don't, sure. Oh God. Is this is my gamble now. Yeah, this is your gamble. <laughs> Beth Lopod. <laughs> I was wondering what you were gonna come up. With I that. couldn't get, come up with one fast, so we went with that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. It was supposed to be the seventeen. I'll use a force point to reroll that. Why not? <laughs> All right, big gamble. Oh, big gamble. I... Alright, let's see what the die rolls on this time. There we oh. go! Oh. <laughs> I was gonna come up with the Beth Lopod was an old elderly woman. <laughs> but... Uh, Beth Lopod, Beth Lopod. Currently stationed, currently stationed in the eastern trenches. Eastern trenches. Well, eastern trenches taken over. They need help. They need help! Mocking, 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 mocking. We do not <laughs> like to be No, mocked. I wasn't mocking you, it's just... It's, I, 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 I am distracted. He was addressing each of them individually out of respect. Not a smart one, not a smart one, not a smart one. We know. What was that, what was that, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> there was this big manta ray back there. That's probably what you heard. Poisonous manta ray. Poisonous manta ray. Open fire. Open fire. Open fire. You don't have to worry. They, they're they not poisonous to you. They held electrical shocks. Electrical shocks. We no, lost No, not one already. of those. This was this was one of the blue ones, not the purple ones. <laughs> anyway, are you going to send help? I need to relax. Ah. We will send aid. We will send aid. Great. I just sit right there, waiting. A battalion from the Eastern Quadrant is heading over there to check it out. Fantastic. And you're all staying here as well, right? We will not abandon. We will not abandon. We will not abandon. <laughs> I just <laughs> right up. <laughs> I cleave. Well, is this all in view of us? Yeah, like you suddenly the, uh... see the lightsaber ignite. Yeah, do we if see anything, you see the glow at least. I suppose it didn't work and started to swim over in that direction. Yeah. Yep. 
Well, I love that I double critted on that moment. It's a 19 to crit as well. Okay. You cut two of them in two, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Um, I suppose I'd like to continue and make my second attack on this one. Go ahead, I guess. That was a 19 fair. Nothing special about that. Yeah. Uh, still up, actually. All right. And yeah, I didn't ignite both sides of my lightsaber, so. And I will say, as Sylvan is swimming over there and using his rake as a propulsionary device, he imbues it with the force. All right. Uh, Dark, you staying right there? Um, <laughs> yeah, no. Moss seems to be swimming up. Yeah, I think yeah, we're all right. working on swimming yeah. over there. Just all right. Yeah. So yeah. Everyone, give me a quick initiative. Uh. There we go. <laughs> Damn initiative, Joe. Oh, baby. Bad. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Walker I, rolled I got this, guys. <laughs> Walker actually rolls high, still last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I finally have a bonus to it. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, we did look over all their stuff. They are all appropriate, like, stuff now. Yeah, everyone's stats just got a recent uh, double check reboot, so a lot of people are going to be looking real clean right now. Yes. Yep. And we finally have some feats, too. Mm hmm. Touch my feet. All right. I don't want to touch your feet, trust me. Good. Exclamation point show feet. No. Well, I mean. What's <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> it's, a it's a Twitch meme. All right, so I'll count that as your first move for Cephalopod. It'll be Meb's oh, turn. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't get a sneak attack when I just uh, pulled out a lightsaber and double crit? I didn't do any reactionary stuff, so... <laughs> you got your stu you got your stuff. I guess I can't be mad at it. Fine. I mean, you just, like, took out two of them. But and I was going to take out all five before you guys <laughs> got here. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, but you want to show They would not have been able to have any reaction or shot at all. It would have been a quick assassination just as the backup plan stated, you know? All right, so this guy right here, I hit him with my rake. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. I like Still your what's the claw noise. Oh, okay, but... nice. Oh, right. Remember, basic droids. <laughs> Is he still up? Oh, he's down. Yep. I was going to say... I was going to try to use my newly acquired second tack, but I can't now, so that's fine. Yeah, Mev's got two attacks now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, who goes first, them or me? Actually, can I also do a... Uh, you, actually. Do I get a what? bonus action? Why are you... Oh, I got... I mixed that up. Uh, you do get a... Actually, hold on. Uh, you don't. I don't think you got that fee for that, do you? I mean, but I you've did just been all allowing all people to do bonus actions. And then attack. Oh, right, force actions. I thought you were talking about another bonus attack. Okay. No, not an attack, no. just an action. Oh, yeah, no, you can. You can totally can. I'm gonna finally use Battle Mind. Oh, no, boy. <laughs> okay. Nice. Give yourself a, uh, uh, that's a one, yeah. Plus one. Uh, uh, just do a your attack roll since you don't have the power attack feat. So I just put an uh, attack bonus? Yeah. Put Usually what I do just because so, I'd forget. Otherwise, I just mentally um, I state it out loud that it's a plus one. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. if you wanted to just add it as a temporary modifier, that would work as well. And would it all, would it be on both attacks I have or just my main attack? Um, I think it would be both. Yeah, it's both. Okay. I don't know if you have a ranged weapon or anything, but... No, I don't. Yeah, so... Alright, that was uh, Mev's turn. It's Kayla's turn now. Alright, I'm going to move up here, and I'm going to take a shot at this one with my squid stool. Because I don't have my lightsaber. Couldn't get over there anyway. wonder if you regret that decision just dropping your lightsaber. I mean, he has it, so I know I can get it mm -hmm. back if I want it, but I just wanted it for the drama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, you, you won't tell me you, what to do. You hit him, but he's still up. Right. That, was low, that was low damage, to be fair. Yeah. Alright. 
there. Okay. Next. So, what is your next action? Me? You, yeah. Do you use any force bonus actions or? Um. As long as they're not damaging, you can do basically almost anything. Yeah. Um. Is there anything that I can, like, move in front of me so they... Because they have, like, guns too, right? Yeah. So, I don't have a shield, so could I, like, move something in front of me? So uh, they if can... you want to try to make some impromptu cover using some stones, roll me yeah. a uh, move object. Okay. Uh, move object. In the force, yeah. Okay, that's good enough. You uh you move you use the force to move a boulder that seems or not boulder some rubble from some from some of the destroyed buildings and move it right in front of you. Nice. Cool. You now have cover. If any droid tries to fire on you, they will now have a disadvantage. They can fire on me instead. <laughs> oh, that's right. Kayla did get the reflect feat, but she doesn't can't use it anymore. Nope. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I also have weapon finesse, but I can't use that either, so. Right. <laughs> uh, so, the aquatic droids, one of them uh, leaves the area. This is why I wanted to deal with it. It's okay. The other takes a stance right here and fires upon Cephalopod. Great. I believe it's, if it's within five of my AC, I can reflect it. So let's see what he's got. <laughs> no, that's a wide miss. That is a wide miss. All right. And as the other one has left, that is the only droid left. So it is now Walker's turn. Gun work underwater? Not yours, unfortunately. Well, we probably should have asked the army of squid people for a working gun for you before we left. Probably. probably by the way, I think I should that. tell you guys the downside of the armor, by the way. Sure. You do not have six movement. You're down to four. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take that stuff off real quick then. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'll take that off later if that's the case. Yeah, because it is something you guys are not used to. You do not have the proper feet. Okay. So... So it is a bit uncomfortable for you guys to move in. What's wrong with my feet? They, they don't have fins. You don't have a. You're missing one of your big toes right now. <gasps> oh, I never know. Big toe. I end my turn. <laughs> I set myself in a fence position. <laughs> it is Steph's turn. All right. So I don't care about this guy, but the guy who just ran off. How far away would you say he is? Because they got full movement of six spaces, right? They actually have eight, because they have a little Ooh, booster. That's so many, and I have... only have four in a turn? Yeah, because they, uh, have, they have, they have a little water. How am I ever going to catch him? Speed. I use four speed to run uh, ten times my normal speed for the round and cut him off. Well, it's not running, it's swimming, but okay. Yeah, a swim. It's, yeah, it's I can jump as well with it, so I assume it applies for all. And yeah, I can't attack this round, but I'll get right in front of the guy and just kind of, yeah, I'm over wherever that guy is now. Just uh, looming there with my lightsaber, and I have to use 10 vitality points to do that. Are you sure you want to do that? Oh, wait, no, 8 vitality points. Yeah, I want to do that. I run right up to wherever oh. he is. What's that? What's over there, Mario? What's over there? Well, he got the attention of what he wanted. Great. Oh. Well, this is interesting. I'll just move myself here so we can oh. get a good look. I like it. Nice. Jesus, even Those are like water somewhere. magma guards. They're not aqua magma guards. They're basically armored droids for water combat. Great. I like it. And you said you used up your attack for that. Well, yeah. I don't get to use my attack when I use that ability. Yeah. So it just uses right. my action to burn that. Mess. And I'm assuming I wouldn't have seen them. This is a attack from stealth that they're moving in on. They were, yeah, they were, on, sure. they were on standby at the other at the other entrance. Perfect. All right, yeah. So I'm just uh, pretty much stuck out there. My action has been used up. 
Mev, so you had just seen Cephalopod speed dart off in that direction. I just torpedo through back. the water. And then also see that he uh, brought some friends by accident. Well, I mean, oh, is it my turn? Yep. yep. Well, given uh, new information, all I can do is this. Yeah. End of my turn. Force strike or move object or something. Yeah, you could try crushing Doesn't have to be lightning. Oh, I guess the, this one that he was chasing. Mm -hmm. That's not the one he was chasing. That's yeah, the this one is that, the one that was just Yeah, sitting that's here. the one that's remaining. I figured you guys I would deal with that one. Okay, yeah. I'm going to force strike him. Great. All right. Let's see what you do. Plow. Hey. Ooh. Nice. So, can I... So, how do you destroy this droid? I want to know what how you would do it. Um... Yo, punch off is like water upgrade thing. Oh. Yeah, actually, I, I know these are droids, and they have some sort of like liquid protection to keep their per uh, circuit safe, right? Mm hmm. So I use Force Strike. I kind of just do a motion with my hand, and like a plate comes off the front of uh, him. Oh, he just and floods all from the inside out? Yeah, you see his insides start to kind of flood and spark, and like, it's just like, and he just like. Uh, he doesn't explode necessarily. He just starts sparking, like, and moving around a bit, and then and he just... The oil comes out of him, yeah. <laughs> a little shimmer yeah. in the water as the oil leaks through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little sparks from the electricity that's just rotting out. So, yeah. You do that, he's down. Nice. Nice. You just dealt 13 damage to him. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. All right. Doesn't uh... That was obviously uh, hydrodynamics. Yes. Unfor unfortunately, since that was a force uh, force attack, you do not get a bonus force out, uh, bonus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, figured. And I got to remove a vitality. Yep. And so I had to remove turn. eight to put myself in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Very. Yeah, your turn. Yeah. All right. Um, is he there? Like, is that actually how far they are? Right yeah. Now? Okay. They just came into view. Um, so I will go next to Mev, I suppose. Um, and I will shoot at this one up here with my squid stool. Alright. Shoot it. Oh, why is my damage so low? It's a hit, at least. You just... Yeah, um, you... You hit him, but yeah, you're just rolling low damage. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. even like anything else. Um. And then I'm looking to see if there's anything else I want to do. Uh. In question, Mario. I know we're all swimming here, but if I look down, what's below me? What's below you? Mm hmm. Uh. Coral, seaweed kind of deal. Okay, good. Anyway, uh, yeah, you do hit him, and it's nine, it's sure it's nine no sand. damage. God damn. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's that's, 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 all, that's, that's all, all I'm going to do for now. Yeah, I'm guessing you, since you moved next to Mev, you got out of your cover, so. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I still got a couple of turns. Oh, right. My turn, right? I just got to go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those guys don't ha won't have a move on this rotation since they were just revealed. So at okay. the next at the round at the next round they'll move. This one is going to try to uh, yeah the little guy swim away. Yeah, but of I course you know what you I get. Yep, I will use my attack of opportunity, and I'd like to use my power attack. Um, even without battle mind or anything, I can still take a minus to my attack roll to uh, do more damage. So right. I would like to take a minus. Let's say four to my attack to do extra four damage. Okay. Extra four. Let's see what you do. Darn it! Well... <laughs> okay, uh, it's still high enough, but... It's it's a hit, there. though, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I rolled really low when I made that call. So, yeah, that's a 18 well, The funny thing damage. is, it's still up, though. Yeah, I know. They got, like, 20 or something, right? Darn it. 18 is <laughs> yeah. what I hit him with earlier. Okay. And, yeah, yep. attack of opportunity uh, would only be the one attack. So... Not knowing what to do, it's just gonna fire upon Kayla. Alright. I don't even know what my new AC is. Uh, I don't think that's it, though. No, yeah, you're definitely over 14. Uh, uh, 
yeah, I'm at 19, so nope, not a hit. All right. That damage, though, would have been nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would say it would be nice, but... For me? Been... <laughs> <laughs> For someone uh, here. Okay, and now it's Walker's turn. And at the end of Walker's turn, I'll roll an initiative to know where the super aqua droids are. This guy is traveling this way. Yeah, it looks like it. At the moment, yeah. Can I climb I, the Heavy terrain won't bother you. Since you guys are in water, you can obviously swim yeah, over terrain over like that. Anything. But we already yeah. have, like, lower movement, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so you yeah. go. But you could do what Zylo did with the four speed. I don't know if he has that feat. That's a feat. Yeah. Oh, that's a feat. Oh, okay. Oof. Yeah, so okay. Gonna... If he gets close enough in my lightsaber blaster range, I'll shoot him. Actually, he's in—he's technically in range because of your because of your traits, right? Oh, my lightsaber blaster is a twenty meter. Never mind. Those are two meters. Um, I shoot him. All right. Try firing. I'm sorry. What kind of blaster would be a two meter range? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Listen, oh, that's a miss. I thought, I, I thought it was more. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You roll. You just rolled low. Mm. Yes, I could see that. It's not a. It ain't no big gun. No. All right. Funny enough, if that hit, that would have killed. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Cool. All oh, right. Man. Um. And let's see what the, where the awkward droids are gonna be placed in. They're gonna be right like. Before Imagine they beat enemy. my my roll. Oh nope. baby. So upset. I know I saw that die looking high and I was like, well, what kind of bonus they got, but yeah. Like, we all good. Oh, oh. Alright, my turn. Yep, yeah, let me just I had their number right there. There we go. Alright. Right I'll go for a nice simple battle mind. Nineteen. Yeah, yep, take your plus three. Alright. I got plus three. Um against these guys. You know, I'll keep it as the to hit for now, but for flavor. I'm going to pull out a certain uh, green-colored lightsaber. <laughs> oh, no. And I'm a dual-wield. It's oh, essentially no. the same exact stats as running a double-bladed lightsaber. Yeah. So I already yeah. have it all set up, but just for visual purposes, everyone, I'm using her lightsaber to do this. I'm just going to be sitting there with my arms crossed, rolling my eyes. Mm -hmm. And I guess uh, I'll attack the far one first, the top, top left corner. All right. Swing, swing. What? How's the 37? Try 43, actually, because remember you got your... Oh, oh no, right. Oh, no, yeah, 30, I already did the plus three. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Um, that's 20 well, damage. Well, that's 20 damage. You cut into him. Doesn't nice. kill, though. All right. Um, I would like to swing the offhand lightsaber. All right. Do so. That's Ooh. a miss. 14's a miss. Yeah, you're not used to swinging around a... Uh, yeah, her lightsaber is a little shorter one. than mine. And uh, I'll do the second attack now. Come on, let me get a kill so I can cleave. Otherwise, this will be my last oh. attack. Yo, there it goes. Ah, oh, yeah, there That's it is. Hey, I don't know if you got it. 22 a is a miss. Oh, 22. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, a battle mine plus three. How's he gaming? Yep, that's a hit. Well, now I know I'm not going to be putting it towards the damage with that that kind of AC. All right, so that was still up though. Okay, so they have at least 35 health, and then probably an AC around 20. Um, yeah, I yeah, this could be bad with the. Did I'm, you hitting, attack the I'm hitting the one in the back corner that none of you can help me with, apparently, because I'm smart. Oh. I'll you should have use... went, went with this one. I already I... hit it. Uh, well. I killed him and then cleaved, but... I'm going to use my heroic surge that I that I get. Which, actually, at this level, I can use twice a day. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I'm just going to do the next round of attacks. It's full attack action again. So, another 15 damage on that Ooh. same one. It's down. Cleave! You're like dicing it right now, aren't you? this one up you? here. 12 damage. Second! <laughs> Additional second attack! It's a hit. It's that, a miss. Yeah. That's and then, oh, that damage would have been so nice. And then with the broccoli saber, last hit. 
Oh, 17. Also I missed. It. I'm bad with the broccoli saber. 17. <laughs> uh, 17. The weight's off. Just feels different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be fair, I do have a massive minus to my second. That was like eight attacks in yes. a row, Zylo. Uh, seven. Seven attacks. Don't get twisted. <laughs> eight right. would be ridiculous. It was only seven. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mev, it's your turn. Okay, like a robed torpedo. Oh, boy. Silver, jump up towards this guy <laughs> and swing his rake with full force. All right. Nice. You, you hit him. There's a little Great. water resistance because he's swinging a... In it. Yeah, cause he's swinging a rake. This is a, and um, I get a second attack, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. And I swing around and swing again. That's a miss, though. And that was actually good damage, too. Yeah, yeah. of course. It could have been switched I, around. Oh, well. Wish I got that damage on the first one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, anything else? You got any force abilities you want to try on this guy? I can't attack um, him, so. Can't really do anything attack-wise. Just look at my abilities quick. Uh, no, I suppose not. Uh, can I make a suggestion? You can. By all means. Don't forget that the water is an object itself, so you could try using the force to try to manipulate that to your advantage around him. You're a waterbender. Mm. I also don't know how that would help whatsoever. Like, even Xylo, I don't know how that could possibly... Yeah, I don't... Exactly. We can move them can... around. Don't spoil you can it. Be... And I'm you just saying you can be creative. It. Don't spoil... Yeah, I was going to say, don't spoil it. If you have an idea of how I could have used that, tell me afterwards, but I got nothing right now, so... All right. But yeah, no, I'm just saying you could be creative with it. Yeah. All right. Um, Kayla's turn. E All right. I'm, I think I'm just going to stay where I'm at and pop, attack pop. Uh, the original guy with my squid stool again. All right. Mm. Nice. That's a miss. Mm. Yeah. It's a little bit too late, and it's a little bit after the fact, but what is the Plant Surge ability? Uh, basically, you control the plants around you to where you can use them as either offensive, make a staircase, clear them away from you, yeah, so basically. On this planet, it might be viable at a certain point. Yeah, there's plenty of coral seaweed around you. Okay. Uh, Aqua Droid, turn. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. It's all you, my apprentice. Make and sure yeah, you don't turn. miss. <laughs> I'm just gonna we, we swim well, up to this can, boy. Yeah, he can get close to him now. Mm -hmm. Now I can light my boy up. Oh you know, man, new lightsaber, new lightsaber stats. Or, also true? with a weapon yeah. finesse feat, so he's not terrible. Which means these two can use their <laughs> dexterity when they're using a lightsaber rather than their strength. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. He, he tries to swim by to get more reinforcements, and you just appear, igniting your light, your blue lightsaber, and just cut this guy Look at that, two. a plus five on his attack roll. Beautiful. I'm going to move here, and let's see. How far are you? Uh, can I shoot him? Uh, as a secondary attack, he, technically, yes. Because you got the special lightsaber. I just don't know if that's. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if it's too far. Let me double check. It's a twenty meter radius, so let me see. And also, um, question: Does up. his uh, lightsaber oh, pistol 40, have yeah. any effect underwater? Yes, it does. Okay. It's well, built to be see, a, like a, it's so basically what it does is yeah, it's using the it's same not, power source as a lightsaber. So. Mm -hmm. And instead of con keeping the energy, instead of keeping the energy in a stable shape like a lightsaber does, and instead of propose it kind of like fires it forward so. Yeah, so it's like a lightsaber laser almost basically yeah cool see i would agree with is it feet or meters because we've been not doing true this thing. Just, there's no way that thing shoots 20 meters there's no way it's only two meters but i don't know what the exact range would be Let me I don't know, 40 feet to meters actually yeah you know you're right 40 40 feet is 12 meters ah so i can't so wait. You can, yes. I, I yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, no, that doesn't shoot. seem unreasonable to shoot a blaster pistol. Yeah. Let's shoot him. Pow! 
Like, I think anything over 50 might be questionable, but I also I don't know the specifics. Because yeah. the uh, lightsaber oh. blaster is more of like a blaster pistol than a rifle, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the rifle can over 100 feet easy. And it's supposed to be used in succession, you know, slash, slash, yeah. blast, blast, keep them off their feet. So like a 50-foot range would probably be reasonable for that, I assume, but it's up to you. I don't know what the exact thing you planned was. Because if our movement speed is 10, that's only 6 squares, which is 30, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, so, let's see. It is now the Super Aqua Battle Droids. Super Aqua Battle Droids. Yep. Super Aqua Battle Droids! With a name like that, that's why I had to expend my uh, heroic search. <laughs> it sounds like a 90s cartoon. <laughs> Welcome back to Super Aqua Battle Droids! <laughs> Someone's eating it with like a cereal in front of an OTV. Super mm -hmm. Aqua Battle Droids! <laughs> it's gonna fire one shot at you, Lopod. Uh, is it at any minus because it is uh, right next to me? No. Alright, he misses. They got, they got. Really? With a perfect 20. Uh, with Even with the. I don't know no. what your rules on a 20 are, but you gave me an additional AC boost with this armor. So I'm at a 22 AC. Yeah. But no, uh, 20 is an automatic hit. Sure. If it was I 19, agree. then I yeah. Agree. So, it's an, take plus it nine. doesn't really matter much. It's a 9 damage. That was yeah. a low roll. <laughs> I just wanted to flex that I have 22 AC, that's all. <laughs> um, and this you one is good. And Vitality, zoom it on over there, yeah. so. Still a bit True. of a hit, but not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then this one's going to fire on me. Vitality is still higher than Callie's. I mean, everyone's vitality, I'm pretty sure, is higher than mine. I'm, since we're in the water and everything kind of looks like this anyway, I sort of matrix out of the way of that shot. <laughs> nice. Oof, that roll, though. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to add... Oh, I forgot to add top. Yeah, oh. they might need an additional bonus, because technically that's a plus one he got on me, so... Yeah. That's my bad. I meant to... It was supposed to have a plus five on it. Okay. Um, we can just like anyway. mentally note that. You don't have to worry about switching it up if you, if you can't. No, I just fixed it right now, actually. Great. Are you saying their attack on me would have had a plus five? Yeah. Obviously yes, I don't think six. that would have hit yeah, it. Fine, but... Yeah, still would have missed. Mm -hmm. Yep, anyway. Uh, and then they're going to use us their special ability. You see, when someone thing gets close to them... Yeah. They make them coffee. Thank you. They open up. They open up a little chest compartment, actually, and release, oh. and release a little grappling hook mechanism. No, don't hook the squid. This is inhumane. <laughs> squid man. And this is going to be a strength versus strength, by the way, to see if you get out of it. All right. So, Silo, you ready? Let's do it. Come at me. <laughs> Oh, wow! I rolled low. I, I snapped the cables with my biceps. Well, this one's also gonna go to Mev that's right next to him. No. I'm so strong, it's fine. Uh, strength save, I'm guessing. You got this. Beating 11. So no, Do I just roll strength save? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. You got it, see? So, you are, by all technicality, you are now in a prone position against him. I assume they like have a cable or something that shoots around. Yep. You can still shoot try out a to... fishing net. <laughs> it, it... Anyway, so uh, with your light, you can still attack, but you will be at a disadvantage against it. Okay. And do I like not have a bonus action or anything like that, or is it something? Basically, just... you could either make an attack or try to struggle out of it. Okay. Alright, All right, and then it's back to Cephalopod's turn. What do you do? Huh. You just saw this thing fire and hit you, and all at the same time, try to grapple you. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's see. I would like to... Yeah, this one's weak up here, so I guess I will attack him. I was gonna try to help Mev, but I'll probably get a better chance of cleave if I attack the top one. Alright, I swing with my lightsaber. Oh, well, oh yeah, 22. Still got the plus 3. Even a five you get a 19 yeah I, I i hit really hard well at least with my primary attack the extra attacks they all have minuses and stuff so mm -hmm. um speaking of which uh, 
That's a 22, so that's a hit. Still yeah. up, though. All right, yeah, it wasn't a lot of damage. I will swing. I'm going to swing my second attack, yeah, because I'd like to carry through my good attack if I cleave. Nope. That's a miss. Broccoli Saber, don't fail me. Failed you. Ah, I failed you. Stupid Broccoli Saber. <laughs> 17 misses. Kayla, do you want to just force your lightsaber out of his grip? <laughs> yeah, probably. So he doesn't disgrace its name anymore. Right? I feel bad for calling it out like this, but I am missing with it every time. All right, like man. Cephalopod yeah. is failing attacks with this lightsaber, which yeah. says a lot. Mev, it's your turn. You okay, can so your, you can make a basic attack or you can struggle out. Sylvan looks around and sees, wants to see if there's any plants around. Like, you know, like Minecraft kelp? Yeah. You know, it's like long. They have, they have that on this planet. And is there, are, are any of them below us in the water? Plenty. Awesome. I'm going to use plant, because he's got me sort of grappled, right? Get him right back. I'm going to try to grapple him back with some plants. Does it work? Ooh, it does work. And what that does is, actually, roll me a 1d3 to see what happens. He's allergic okay. to plants. Oh, that isn't in the automatic things. I actually have to type it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, not rule. Yeah. <laughs> One. Three-sided three dice three. are rather rare. Roll a three. Roll a three. Roll a three. There it is. Oh. You got. You got a three. You got the best possible outcome of this. <laughs> okay. So, what using the plant, you completely wrap the plants around the droid and just start pulling him down. <laughs> Okay. It actually it actually loosens him up to a point where you hear it like you hear it going That's and like creaking. Yeah, and because of that, he now has a temporary loss in AC because you have technically weakened him. Oh baby. Oh nice. So that would have been my only action, right? I can't attack after that. That's just it's like debuffed him essentially. Basically. But you did do damage to him. You did do nine to him. I'll take and can I assume speed. I'm no longer prone? You're still technically in the cable. You haven't freed yourself yet. Mm. Okay. But he is at a minus, though. Yeah, so you're just both at a minus, but the rest of your team, we do outnumber them now, so... It, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a benefit it to is us. Kayla's turn. All right. Now you're going to try to force, force pull your lightsaber out of his crisp. Uh, yeah, I think I will. Fair. Um, I guess I'll... You should, you what, should what definitely... That one for script or... Have fun. <laughs> oh. Are you really going to try to hold on to well, the... I'm, if I'm holding the weapon and swinging with it, I, I'm going to have a tight grip on it, so... True. I'd love to... Like, if I was a finesse fighter, like, with dexterity, maybe I'd have a looser grip on it, but... No, nah, Seth, probably, Seth probably grips these things when he's swinging. Mm -hmm. uh, what do what do I do? That's a uh, force pull or uh, grab ob or move grab object. Or move object, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I have points and move object. Oh. You could use a force point to give yourself a plus five. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I do have four force points left. I, I didn't mean to roll a twenty-two on the strength. I just figured I wanted to give you a number to beat. Uh, where is move object? Okay, I'll do, I'll spend a force point and I'll do move object. If it wants to work. Come on. Oh. oh, never mind. Yeah, dice weren't in it. Mm -mm. 17. You feel her trying to move, grab it. Yeah, though. I definitely notice, I assume. All right, well, I just give up on that and I just go ahead and shoot the, shoot at the thingamajiggy. Hey! Wow. That is 16 damage on that guy, and... Oh, actually, you shoot you shoot one of the exposed parts that uh, he had, actually, thanks mm -hmm. to Xylo's lightsabers, and actually cause him to die and explode. Good stuff. Nice. Nice. But still, the dice feel that your lightsaber is in better hands with uh, <laughs> Seth. Some Somehow, reason. with all these misses. No! <laughs> He's just holding on too strong, and I don't have that. You know, it's <laughs> I'm strong in the suction cups. It's that. It's hard yeah. to break my grip. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, it's the other. Okay, yeah, let's get it this down to the... one now. 
aqua droid. No, yeah, that's all tied up dead. in this kelp. Uh, Walker's turn, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and we're gonna shoot the other droid. All right. Where did my character shoot go? I guess I closed it. Uh, next. yeah, at that angle, you shouldn't be able to. You should be have a clean shot against it. I hope so. <laughs> Uh, alright. Lightsaber shoot. If it would load. Pew pew. Pew pew indeed. New computer soon, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> I think part of it's oh, just rolled. Miss. Oh, boy. Even with the decreased AC this thing has, it's still a miss. But there's double one damage, too. Alright. Big sad. Yeah, I know. You would love to use your regular blaster down here, wouldn't you, Dark? At least you got oh, something. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, at least it didn't uh, right. It is turn, I guess. super battle droid. A battle droid oh, is yeah. not looking good right now. It is covered in the kelp. It is still being pulled by the plant search, but it's going to try to aim its blaster upward at Mev's face. Great. Wow, what's my face, huh? Yeah, it's trying to kill you. So I assume this thing has a disadvantage to its attacks, but Mev's also still tied up, so... Yeah, so it has a minus three right now. So that would be a miss? Oh, so yours AC 17 or 18? My AC is 17 with the plus 2 from the... From the nice. Uh... Yeah, no, it adds a miss then. Because it's technically... You put it you put it in the same prone position as you did. Very Sweet. Nice. That's a good attack to, for that to just barely miss on, too. Jeez, 9, yeah. 8, and 9 on D10s with these blasters. Yep. My face ain't having it. My face, has, I have good mm -hmm. face AC. Right. I have good face AC. Does that move it to Mev's turn? Or maybe yep. my turn? Yeah, no, that'll be yours. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's see. Could I uh, take the uh, the broccoli saber and kindly throw it over to Kayla? Aw. Look at you. Oh, no, you're going to throw something in water? I'm going to darn it. It's a lightsaber metal yeah yeah um the only thing i need you to do for me sure. i know you have that thrown object thing so oh sure i literally do have a roll to throw an object let's see how it goes perfect <laughs> right into her hand hold on kayla oh my god don't what do take I have damage roll? from me underhand tossing her <laughs> you're gonna have to roll a dex oh to catch roll it it's yeah. in the water so it's moving a little slower Yo, what a toss. Dex is one of my higher things, so... <laughs> okay. So, you barely catch it, but it is fast thrown at you. Nice. Alright. Uh, I'm tempted to call that your action, honestly. Catching yeah. a lightsaber? No, I'm not talking about for you. Just talking oh, about for chucking a lightsaber off to the side? That's not damaging. Is there not yeah. an attack? I'll, okay, I mean, is that my bonus action? Because that's kind of what I imagined. Fine, I'll, I'll count that as your bonus then. Okay. okay. I know you want to nerf Seth, but come on. I mean, <laughs> I, I, if you want to make it like that, then you can never do anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, I'd like to swing at it. Um, and does it have any... Yeah, you said it has a negative to its AC. Great. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, thanks to Mev and his yep. awesome plant surge. <laughs> that's a crit. That's a 20 damage. My lightsaber is working fine today. Quite fine. <laughs> yes. Good for you. Seth's like, Kelly, I believe there's malfunction to your lightsaber. <laughs> we need it's to work on up. it later. It's still uh, up. Okay. I still have the second attack, but I won't have an offhand strike because I used that for to chuck the saber. And you haven't turned on your double blade at nope. all. Yeah. I do agree that I probably couldn't turn on the saber and chuck it in the same turn. Because I yeah. think that might take like the movement action or whatever it is in the game, but yeah, mm -hmm. twenty nine dealing seventeen damage. That's a dead. That's a dead. And if so I had another attack, I would cut the cables tying you up, Mev. But I don't. So. Well, I assume after you cut the droid in basically three pieces. Yeah, I imagine its strength on its grip would uh, let up, and I could probably get out yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. Plus, it doesn't look like we're in a uh, time situation anymore. Nope. So, you guys have successfully basically cleared out this this ca this camp of the droids. All right. But you I guys to, uh, I turn to Seth and I go, "So, how did negotiations go?" Well, um 
But obviously sarcastic. <laughs> I distracted one battalion of droids for the Mon Calamari. Eh? Eh? Kayla? Not this one, but a completely separate battalion is out Kayla? of position. Yeah. I suppose you did. You're, get, you're getting a call on your communicator. Okay, <laughs> I picked it up right away. At least maybe make a gamble if you're going to make this a bad thing somehow. Hello? <laughs> Fine, roll me a gamble, Zylo. <laughs> Cause this nine times out of ten would only be good things. I gotta. Let's see. Gotta. Well, have it. Ha continue. <laughs> proceed, Mario. Proceed as you planned. <laughs> I can't say nothing anymore. That was my rebuttal. Go ahead. Do what you will. <laughs> the, the dice willed it. Yep. The commander is yelling, "Ma'am, ma'am, are so We were trying to make a sneak attack on the on the eastern camp." But for some reason, they seem to have gotten reinforcements. Oh. Why is Seth so good in combat, but so detrimental outside of combat? <laughs> <laughs> and the dice support this so hard. Ah. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, Silo. Yeah. Time of the Clone Wars. What did all almost all Jedi Knights do? <laughs> they, led com they led clone troopers. Mm-hmm. And if you lived long enough to do that... <laughs> no. Oh, what? So I tell you thinking I'm getting Order 66? Nah, Seth's gonna make it through it. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> you think he's gonna live that long? So we'll I, see. So I tell my people to distract them as long as they can, and then... Or maybe... Abandon. Um, but I'd say probably forget that. Yeah. Pull back. Eastern yeah, they camp. Only, is that where we just were? Where is the Eastern camp? Well, That's why one of the anime camps, rather. Yeah. yeah. Them. Because of my role, they had happened. Um, the Mon Calamari's had been planning a sneak attack on that camp, and while they were weak, uh, a random battalion of droids came in to support them. So it turned out to be a battle that the Mon Calamari's weren't expecting. Whoops. <laughs> they thought they were gonna have a huge advantage. Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. I love, I love the two, the four you just roll. You guys have not done well on the gambling, actually. No. Uh, okay. Well, good news. I think news. I know what we to allocate points into <laughs> now. Yeah. Oh, so you guys continue on your way. Um, Callie is probably like, why did you do this? Yeah, I'm just annoyed as per usual, but I, I just want to get back to- they were going to move those droids. I thought they were going to move these droids. <laughs> Can I heal yourself a little bit? I could just heal you. Hey, if you could uh, throw me a little more, I'd probably need it. I got you, Seth. Ten All right. Down. So, as you guys travel through, you guys eventually reach a tall ridge, actually. And... Below you, you see this. Oh, whoa, the Mariana's Trench. I mean, a lot of this planet's trenches. Ooh, oh, great. Gosh. Is that the temple? That is the is entryway that? into the castle. Neat. May hold. I am once again going to use far seeing to see if there is any sort of um, threats from the other side or anybody. Trying to guard people going in and out of, out of the palace, because I know you said the palace has been under siege for like a month. Yeah, so go ahead. Do I see any? Yeah, you see plenty of droids. You see droids in and out of the entryway. You see battalions. You also see underwater plasma mortars in the distance. I guess more specifically, do I see any holes in, in their forces where we could possibly sneak in without getting into another fight. I think that's where I'm leading you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's where her and, navigation comes into play. And her navigation will have to wait until for ne till next week. Mm -hmm. We're so going we in. Because we have reached the end of our session for today. Ooh. Ah. Dun, dun, dun. Big but squid castle. To give you guys a little bit of a hint, you guys do see few red lights in the distance, and that's all I will say. Alright. We don't have to sneak the brake on. lights. They have vehicles, and they're stopping. <laughs> that's what it is. Mm-hmm. So 
I figured it out, guys. I got you, chat. You don't even have to wonder what it is. <laughs> See, I really gotta roll my, uh, just trying to lie to people sometimes. That's a, that, that's another great Seth roll. <laughs> yeah. Been lucky to roll Intimidate a couple of these times, which is something I actually have a plus in, but... To be fair, Seth's charisma is not horrible. <laughs> it's really just the intelligence. Yeah, you dumb squid. <laughs> yep, the red lights mean, mean nukes, chat. They mean nukes. <laughs> All right, so... What about the nukes? nukes? Okay, the whole argument in chat before yeah. about nukes in Star Wars. So people, people are saying, nukes are nothing compared to space lasers. And yeah, certain space lasers for sure. I mean, if you want to count it, I guess the Death Star was technically like a planet-sized nuke. That yeah, that was fired. way more powerful than any nuke. So. Yeah. It was a moon-sized nuke. <laughs> yeah. I'd say an average shot from a Star Destroyer orbital bombardment would probably be about nuke level. Probably, actually. Mm -hmm. Or even, like, even, like, ships that were just dedicated to, like, just a frontal cannon probably be bigger. Yeah, it depends what they're meant for. Because I remember in the Old Republic, there was ships like that, but the issue was they didn't have, like, self-defense, like, all the power was dedicated to them, that they were, like, pulled into place by other ships. Hmm. But, yeah... Good stuff. We're finally on the calamari planet. Yeah. Yay. Everyone's soaking wet. Ooh. I will say, no one let me uh, forget, I probably want to get out of this stupid wetsuit before we get going. Because yeah. <laughs> I don't need the AC. I need, I need the, I need the, the movement. movement. So, yeah. um. Yeah, how's our XP week? looking? Oh, uh, I also got. Uh, hmm? uh, you didn't get into, get into heavy combat, so I would say around a uh, hundred. Do we level up again? I don't think we do. Yeah, no, you did not. <laughs> What's, What's our total level at, by the way, right now? To me, it's 3175, unless I did okay. something wrong. I'm at the same. Mm -hmm. I must if, you guys want, if you guys want your next goal, you don't get next level up until until 37. Mm, okay. Ah. 37. Mario did say he's going to start uh, lengthening out the uh, levels a little bit more, which is fair. I assume we have been leveling fast for the traditional game mechanics, so... That's fine. Yeah, I guess it's the XP last time, so we're at 31. A good comparison would be something like World of Warcraft, where an original word of World of Warcraft, it took you just as long to get from level 50 to level 60 as it took you to get from 1 to 50. Yeah, so it scales and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, it sort of scales as the level levels get higher. Which is fine. I think we're all pretty competent right now. Yep. yep. At least in our own departments. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi. Might not be, uh, the best um actor let's call it <laughs> yeah but we're a well-rounded group i yeah. think uh mario should i just take the uh temporary modifier off now so i don't forget and uh yeah the wetsuit you can take it off. cool I'll just say yep. i did that then there you go you have a nice hittable 20 ac now <laughs> <laughs> don't worry oh, don't worry i got a plan for you xylo excellent no actually like i, I struggled a little today I mean, my rolls were all supporting me offensively, but I was taking hits. Yeah, no, like I said, I've been, uh, I've been uh, trying to make enemies appropriate to you guys. Because, i guessing because we didn't actually go over everyone that you felt so ahead, but because we fixed everyone and gave everyone their proper stuff... Yeah, once again, everyone like, is feeling like I'm a nerd who was uh, meticulously combing his character sheet, making sure everything was updated and done right, so... Mm -hmm. We and went once through we with did everyone, that with... and... Everyone's looking yeah. pretty pretty great now. Dark hitting I mean, with a plus five on his lightsaber, killing a droid out here. Yeah, let's go. First mm -hmm. lights. No, not my first lightsaber kill, actually. No, but the no. first one that wasn't just luck and a low amount of health left. So. Yeah. I will one. say, Sylvan, for probably the third week in a row now, still needs to pick a feat that I haven't <laughs> gotten yet. Yeah. But you have two of them. Show feet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't stop. I you. A joke. So we Can't got all that stuff. I'm type JP to, <laughs> to show his feet. On the oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I love messing with JP. It's fun. I love to do it too. Anyway. Anyway. Next week. Dark, did you have something to say about next week's session? Yeah. I'm not here next week, so I don't know what's happening. Oh, right. we forgot to do that. Yeah. There was a plan to kind of secret Dark away so we didn't have to worry about him in the session next week, but instead we'll just have to try to play through it and figure it out. 
It's fine. Yeah. We know what he does. I'm a hacker man. Yeah. He, whether he's just tagging along for the ride or keeping watch, we'll figure that out when the time comes. Someone's gonna have to play as me. Maybe, or maybe, you know, he gets a call from, uh... It's not a... Maybe he has to go back. Ship. Like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Back to the ship. Unless something drastic happens, I'm not gonna be... Yeah. We'll play. We plan to uh, play ahead, um, regardless yeah. of it. Because, you know, whenever one person's gone, that doesn't mean we end the session. Maybe if Mario's gone, we'll end the session. We won't do a session, but I, I think I the mean, four Mario of us could manage without. Mario is the GM. He kind of needs to be here. All right. I guess I kind of mm -hmm. need to run the show as well. Um, but yeah, next uh, show will still be on Sunday, 4 p.m. EST. Uh, mark that on your calendar. Be excited for it. Um, on the 14th, I believe it was, you'll be seeing the first episode of Awakening. And Shall we is... play that as we leave? Yes, yeah. I certainly will. Next Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. For those who, who weren't here in the beginning and missed it, we do have a little bit of a teaser for, for Awakening, the new campaign we're going to be yep. doing. At the moment, it's going to be the most characters we have in a Dice and Fire show. It's two shows, so it's... Like five yeah. or something? Mm -hmm. The odds are pretty good, I yeah. guess. Yeah. I mean, the, the odds ever be in your favor. Oh, true. Well, That's a good point. That's a good point. But aside from that... Make sure you check out everyone's channels and social medias here. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Give them a follow. Give them a subscribe. Do all that stuff. Get excited for more videos coming from all of us. More Dice and Fire coming. And aside from that, anyone have anything else to say before we wrap things up? I'll see you all at the end of July on Twitch. Ooh. You spell side. Dark skit and yeah, no computer. Yes, that means you'll be able to stream again. Mm-hmm. Good I'm not stuff. joining any Origins for chat asking if you ever ask about it. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. There is more to this world than what we see. Another world that lies in the cracks of our reality. A place where evil can run free. Some seek out these dark places. While others wind up there whether they choose to or not.